What's up, everybody? Welcome to Table Story Zero Blue Orion. How's it going? Welcome to the show. How's everybody doing today? Doing good. I got a blended lane. 10 out of 10. 5 by 5. 5 by 5. 5 by 5. Wait, we got to do 5 by 5. Exactly. That's me. That's how I'm feeling. Excellent. How about you, PB? How you doing? I'm great. Are you Very excited? excited. <laughs> <laughs> soulless. Just completely soulless. She's got nothing left. She used I'm all trying. of her emotions already. It's There's so nothing yes. left. There's I'm just trying saving. to keep it cool, okay? Why? Them. Everyone just wants to see you not be cool. <laughs> yeah, you're right. <laughs> That's why you're here. To not be oh. cool. <laughs> How's everybody doing? Seriously, how's it going? Welcome Why am I to the always show. in 240p? Why am I the only one always in 240p? Because what? you're in the UK and we're not. Is that the only reason? Yeah. That's the reason. Oh my God. We've got that freedom bandwidth over here. <laughs> oh yeah. I've been in cosplay since day one. Is it just being noticed now? I think yeah, that's, I guess the, so. that's the only difference. Chad, are you excited for today? Are you ready for some anime mecha AF action? Is that is is that a thing? Are you guys excited? Chat, are you ready? Are you ready to see some things uh, explode? Yes! Activate. <laughs> you ready? Let's are you ready? Let's do this. Let's do some intros. Let's do some intros and let's jump into right. things. Let's get let's get let's get on board. Brad, would you be so kind as to start us off, please, in your 240p form? Yes. I was scared that my internet was going down then, but it's not. Uh, hi everybody. It's me, Brad Walter. Today I'm playing Wyatt Slate, aka Boom Slang, and he's just a super likable guy. Um, I was obviously typecast. Um, you know, green hair like I've got in real life. <laughs> And uh, yeah, I don't know what's going on, honestly, with the with what we're doing. I hope that we get attacked by a kaiju. And we're the only ones who can fight it. That's my hope for today. We'll find out soon enough. I know my tactics will always be the same, and it will be rush in, grab the thing, and self destruct. <laughs> 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 so we'll see if I can, uh, yeah, defeat the kaiju today. We'll see. Fist. Hi, I'm Fist of the Walrus. I play Stu Flanagan, aka Rash Man, the uh, ever, uh, the ever uh, famous C-list or D-list celebrity. I haven't decided, but uh, yeah, I'm excited. I guess we're heading back to the cafeteria. We go to the cafeteria a lot, so don't be. Don't be. the whole episode like, is just going to be us like with nut sauce. Yeah, <laughs> gossiping around the table. I imagine Rashman was in like one mini series or one special like a decade ago or something, and he just kind of is hanging on. You see, like the back of his sense. head. Like one of the shots, you see, like the back of his head. I was the extra there. See, yeah, that's, right. yeah. that's my <laughs> elbow. That's my oh my God, it's so good. Stand right by me. He's on like the real world for like one episode. Yeah, or like, yeah. he had <laughs> one nice line in right something. There. But it was yeah. a dramatic moment for a character, like a reveal of the yeah, long in a, in a movie. Yeah, yeah. And it's like <laughs> I think we should I think we start. should definitely, by the way, keep using the um the whole like uh literature references or just people that you know yeah. or things that happen, oh, yeah. by the way. <laughs> like that's just like Harry Potter. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah. Yes. Just, my friend Gandalf. And his fucking ring. I don't know yeah, what the really fuck that shit was you, about. Why do I know all these pop culture references to things that don't exist? <laughs> yeah. Oh I think we need to keep up with that. We need to we need to make it's that so happen. Good. We'll um, just fit it in there somehow. We had space in the beginning of it and it just becomes a part of the universe. <laughs> True space, space Harry Potter. Potter. Did we get space some fan Harry art? Potter. We got some void. Oh my god! Fan we got some void oh. smoker fan art. <laughs> I'll pin it in the. Uh, I'll, I'll pin it in the Discord for those of you that are watching on a vod. Just go. To the the I love it. Oh. Discord. <laughs> I the rash. So good. <laughs> the oil. God, you're so Is that good. rash cream or nut sauce? <laughs> yeah. I think we need. 
Like, is it is the nut sauce in tubes like that? I'm just not uh, sure. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. Um, but thank you, Fist. Uh, uh, as you guys gone. can tell, uh, Colo's not going to be with us today. Um, she's sort of taking the week uh, off, so she's she not going to be joining she's us. She's just so small you can't see her. Wow. 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 I don't know if she's small in real life. Is she small in real life? Probably. I don't know. You'd have to ask her. I'm going to say, yeah. Hi, are you small? I guess. <laughs> Someone who's not small in real life, Myth. Hi, that's right. Really? How tall are you? Uh, I'm 6'1". I'm, oh. I'm, yeah. Six inches? That's right. <laughs> Real tall. <laughs> PB immediately went to dick size, by the way. That's what happened. You watch that back on the VOD. Watch her brain <laughs> light up in that moment. I was going to make a nice, like, <laughs> Thumbelina so joke, like, he's in a <laughs> right now. Mm. But it's only no. because he was like, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. It's not true. Anyway, hi, I'm, uh... <laughs> <laughs> I'm at Thematic. Good to see you. I'm uh, playing Luca Ludimir, also known as, uh... Rip Panda. Uh, he is a uh, penal yeah. colonist. Uh, he's awesome. Uh, Her he brain went there up. again. It went there what? again. I saw her. I saw her eyes. No. Yeah. No. Yeah. No. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. Penal colonists is fun okay. to say and think about. But anyway, uh, that's uh, that's me. Can't wait to play and can't wait to uh, discover what the vision was we saw last time uh, and uh, how that will affect us this time. And uh, I'm super excited to eat all of the nut sauce. So both in character. Right, we're in the cafeteria. Right. Yeah, exactly. Lock up. Exactly. All the mass. In before we stay the entire episode in the cafeteria. Oh yeah, yeah. We in before it's the nut sauce that's causing all the weird flashbacks. <laughs> 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 the group or Let like me the just cross stuff. out all these notes. Wait. <laughs> I'm worse than nut sauce all along. Don't you say? <laughs> My God. Thank you, Matt. And last but not least, PB. Are you gonna go for me? Are you gonna do it? No, you're gonna go. Oh, okay. Hi, I'm I'm PB or Karen. You can follow me at twitch.tv slash Karen. That's it. I'm excited. Let's play. <laughs> do we actually have the table story Karen thing yet? I don't know if we do or not. <laughs> like, well, what are you talking right about? Now. Like an I'll like it right now. Oh, like an actual a link? Yeah. yeah. That's great. It's table like, story dot, dot TV slash Karen. Hold on. Slash Karen, Karen and it goes. I got to... it. Fantastic. Able to Karen. Yes. I'm here for this meme. <clears throat> By the way, I think that Void Smoker's rendition of Red Panda looks a little bit like Peachy if Peachy went for the mutton chops and he shaved this part. Yeah, if Peachy, I'm not going to just carry on. <laughs> <laughs> it's badass. <laughs> yeah, it's badass. Okay, yeah, it looks it's cool. incredible. The burn mask. That is so cool. <laughs> All right. Oh, okay. Let's play. I want to get in the. Is mech. everybody ready? <laughs> I want to get yeah. in for our for our anime intro to get everybody in the right headspace. Let's uh, let's cue the anime intro and let's hop into the game. Let's hop into the game. The year is 5016U. After many failures, humanity has reached new heights. Union is responsible for all of it. It is the tyrant, the watcher, and the guiding hand. The third committee watches over humanity, but is stretched thin. Threats loom from the Aun Ascendancy, overreaching corporal states, remnants of the Second Committee, and other unknown dangers. Union scrambles to cope with the vast size of the hegemony and these threats by relying on unorthodox means. Last time on Zero Blue Orion. The players had uh, a bit of an experience. Their characters had uh, a vision, a sort of 
strange recollection where they inhabited the bodies of uh, Lancer pilots and they were fighting in some kind of um, brutal uh, encounter that was happening uh, in the Karakin trade ba uh, baronies, specifically on Caracas. And uh, it was extremely confusing for them. They weren't sure what was, what was, uh, if they were in control or if these people were in control or if they were just kind of going through the motions. They weren't sure exactly what was going on. Um, but it left all of them feeling rather uncomfortable. And um, some of them were questioning whether or not they, um, well, they had really signed on for all of this. If they had uh, somehow ingested pilots of previous age, that was a question that had been going around. Um, and 8900, uh, Elisa, had uh, sort of outright called Wyatt a traitor and um, was extremely upset with him. She stayed behind in the barracks while the rest moved on to the uh, to the galley, to the mess hall. Um, and uh, I think we're going to just kind of uh, start there today. Um, you guys have all kind of headed to the um, to the mess hall, I believe. Everybody was going there, right? Or was anybody deviating? Uh, I was uh, going where the food was. That's where The only one at. deviating, I think, was 8900, so... I yes. saw a meme just then, and then... Yeah, we were going for food. Okay. Apart from, uh, yeah. Thingy. Okay. So you guys uh, head to the cafeteria. Um, what I'd like to know, uh, Effie, how are you feeling after... After that uh, vision that you had. Oh, physically or emotionally? <laughs> I think both. Okay. Um, I don't know how, because I think you, you described it as feeling very real to us. Definitely so imagine... felt very real. It felt yeah. very real. You felt pain. You yeah. felt, um, you know, panic and all of the various emotions associated with combat. Yeah. So I'm probably feeling pretty high strung and... Uh, shaky maybe even a little bit because i i imagine i still feel the residual feelings of you know that combat that i did not win um and then emotionally i'm feeling absolutely guilty and terrified because wyatt told a story and i i believe him because i'm super gullible so i think that we are being fed other pilots and i saw it in an anime one yeah and i'm worried that i am uh a cannibal now. Okay. Um, are you like a little, is your stomach upset a little bit? Going oh, yeah. Into the, to oh, the yeah. 100%. Hall? They want to go get food, but I'm not hungry. Who's, uh, who's, who do you think is first going into the mess hall? Luca, probably. <laughs> probably. Barrels yeah. his way in. Yeah. Okay. I think I'm hungry. Is it, it, no, he is also his his stomach's a little queasy from the weird vision, uh, but he thinks he's hungry. He's just interpreting it how as do you, hungry. How do you feel, uh, Luca? How are you feeling after witnessing that that combat uh, and that battle and that sort of feeling of death and such? Right. Uh, so yeah, he is still sort of I think sweating and maybe his heart rate is still like starting to slow. Uh, you know that sense of dread you get after a nightmare and you don't remember the nightmare? Uh, <sighs> kind of like what he's going through. He remembers flashes of it. There was something, there was a mech standing over him. He, he saw his hands were uh, manicured and not his own. Uh, and uh, uh, he saw and felt defeat, which was also probably a, like he's been overcome, I guess. And that's something that hasn't happened yet. He's been and has been uh, always uh, at the front line. And uh, he his his war cry is more of a cheer than it is anything he's excited to get into battle he's excited to fight and he's excited to overcome uh the foe and the the i guess the uh the spar but in in that in that vision he saw weakness and he was weak and that scared him and he woke up and there's more dread than he has felt in a while 
and uh, that is affecting him more than he thought it would. So um, he's going to do what makes him, he thinks will make him feel better, and that is eat, because that is the only thing that really makes him comfortable, uh, at least these days, and uh, because he's in this foreign place uh, and has had these tests. There's a lot of feelings bodily that he doesn't really understand. Like, uh, why is he, is his, is his stomach empty? Is it still a side effect of the, of the, of the ooze or like the, the, the back to tank, uh, the not back to tank uh, and the, uh, and things like that. So he's, he's still trying to interpret it all, but the best way he knows how and the best way to stay comfortable is to do what he knows. And that is uh, food. So he's, he's, uh, he's going to try to interpret and think, but he's still keeping a lot of this to himself. And he's trying to come off as a happy-go-lucky, hungry man. Okay. But inside, he's like, "This was that was that was a little scary." So you're look. So you think Luca is um, trying to jump back into sort of a combat situation to alleviate some of these feelings in general? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. He's always combat has always been like a, a, a not really like a way out for him, but like. A, he he the, he's always been about thrill and excitement um, and uh, uh, the adrenaline of rushing in and dancing on dancing on the the fine blade of of uh, of mortality as he goes headlong into uh, I guess um, into these these things. So um, uh, the dreaming about a fight is not is not uh, uh, is not a strange thing. Uh, dreaming about a fight is not unique for him, but he does in fact. Uh, he, it's not. It's not often that he loses. And what about is... feeling the pain and actually smacking into the size of the cockpit? Actually feeling stuff. How does that? I mean, is that you know? Even though you have a sort of serious sense of, I guess, um, really in-depth dreams. Right. This is to the nth degree. Yeah, yeah, it yeah. Felt felt real. Yeah, uh, usually, like, he fits pretty snug in and comfortably in the, the cockpits that he usually is in uh, because, of course, the, the safety harness that he has. But uh, I think maybe probably in that in that vision, he was rattled around a bit. It was a different cockpit. He wasn't, it, it was something different. And uh, that is, uh, maybe once they fell, uh, he couldn't really get control of the uh, of the mech again. And that's kind of where it, it, it so... Really, I guess uh, a sense of uh, worry, uh, because it was a loss of control, even in his not even in his own um, his, his own bio mech, just his body. He, he was losing control of that, um, and it wasn't even his, you know. And that was uh, there's a lot of things going on, you know, with Luca, but um, okay. uh, he's a little confused and worried, and like I said, he wants to find, or I guess, anxious, and the uh, he wants to cure that by the only way that he finds comfort right now. And that's hanging with friends that he thinks are his friends, and also his uh, his, uh, his appetite. Okay, fair enough. Stress eating and loss of control. Exactly. Gotcha. Yeah. What about uh, what about you, Rash Man? What about you, Stu? So Flanagan has absolutely no idea what's going on. Uh, whether to believe what happened in the dream was real or not, or if he did eat people. He, he thinks he did, but that's not bothering him. Like, he is completely focused on, was he somebody else? Because if he was somebody else, he wasn't Flanagan. So he's actually got his book out, 101 Ways to Seduce Your Way to Success. He's trying to, he's trying to find comfort. He's like, he was in character? Oh, it, 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 it was me. I, that was me. He's like trying to convince himself that was just a female version of him, that he wasn't somebody else because he couldn't believe being anybody other than himself. That's what's really freaking him out. So he's just following behind. He's just going along, but reading through his book. And he reads passage now, number one. Would you say that not being Flanagan, was it a good feeling or a bad feeling? Oh, it was, uh, it was a very bad feeling for Flanagan, because if he's not himself, then he's, he's nothing. Like, that, it shattered him. His ego is so big when it was pulled out from under him, it's like, what? Can that happen any time? He's, he's freaking out. He's very confused. Okay. Okay. Fair enough. 
What about you, Wyatt? How do you think uh, you'd be feeling after that uh, vision that you saw? On the outside, he looks calm and ready, but I think, uh, weirdly, I uh, think Wyatt is going to be pretty, pretty excited about this whole thing. Um, that's why he signed up was for this kind of weird, exciting life and stuff to actually happen, stuff to do. So even though much like um, Stu, <sighs> no idea what's going on. I don't think Wyatt really cares that much. Last week I had unfazable as an invocation and although I, I traded it out for the motivated thing, um, I think, uh, yeah, I think even though I don't understand it, I don't care. Um, I'm just going to see how it plays out. I'm just excited to do stuff and to, to do stuff in life. Um, so sort of like an underlying confusion, but mostly just ready and prepared for like anything to happen and also kind of looking forward to it. There's like a so, sort of fearful excitement, but it's all underneath. Um, while on top, he's just kind of walking along. Tapping his, tapping his feet, that, but about that, that not kind of looking, kind of you know, like he's not that bothered. I think probably a little bit excited for whatever the fuck is happening. Okay, okay, but has no idea. Okay, so a sense of that sort of like excitement um, that most people feel like after combat, maybe even that's even more amplified, or maybe this is something that you know. You haven't really experienced before. This felt a lot more real than the simulator did for you, I guess. Um, so maybe yeah. you're okay. Okay. It, it's the it's just like one of my animes moment, you know. Mm -hmm. it, it, it's that, but like equal, so probably not even equal parts fear and excitement and confusion, but somewhere just a mishmash of that. But also, I don't think uh, I don't think Wyatt would really ponder it too much i don't think he would sit and dwell on it forever and and sort of have it affect him i don't think he's like that so okay. um prepared for the next thing to happen somewhat but not really like what the hell was that you know just like these strange things are happening my hair's green now oh, i can it gave me the mech to pilot what the hell happened there that was a weird dream you know it's kind of taking it in his stride somewhat maybe it'll affect him later on but for now i think he's just kind of ready okay so, uh, you guys grab your food, and you just kind of, uh, sit down again. Um, you're all feeling, you know, fairly hungry. Uh, a full day has gone past, um, since the, since you sort of passed out and had this vision and everything. Um, the ca the, the mess hall is a lot busier right now. When you guys actually go in there, it's like lunchtime, basically, so the, the place is sort of busy. There's a lot more, uh... Uh, Union Science Bureau people that are around. There are uh, several, like, soldiers that are around as well, as you can tell are from the Union um, Naval Department. Um, and uh, you find seats, and, you know, you've got your food and whatnot, and you just kind of sit down. Um, what do you do? Uh, just to clarify, you said it was a full day since we'd passed out and had our vision, but I, I think that like we woke up and a full day has passed. It's not a day after last the, the end of the last episode. Correct. A full okay. day has passed since you passed out. Okay. Yeah. I don't I don't think it's a full 24 hours, but like it was Yeah. Almost I just wanted full, to make sure that like the conversation we had just had just happened for yeah, us. Yeah, the conversation yeah, okay. just happened. Okay. You guys just yep. arrived to the cafeteria. Or to okay. the mess hall. Yeah. Okay. So you guys sit down. I'm pouring a nice big dollop of nut sauce on my protein bar. Loaf. Loaf. Protein to go. Protein thing. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, I'm probably just sitting like kind of quietly eating it. I don't think, I mean, I'm not going to be the one that sits there like, oh my God, how is your day? You know, I literally am antisocial. So I'm just kind of sitting. And I've like sat myself in such a position that I'm one chair away from whoever's on the other side of me, you know? Like or, I'm, there's space between me and the others. But I'm aware of them and looking at them, but not. I'm just eating my food. 
I probably, I got a plate of food, but I knew I wasn't going to eat it. I assumed Luca was going to eat it. So it's mostly just stuff that I've seen him eat. And then I like sat it down sort of near him because I imagine. He's doing the plate juggle back yeah. to the back Yeah, to the exactly. Seat. He's got full hands. And so I just grabbed one and filled it up with stuff and I'm sitting down, but I'm definitely too anxious or too amped up to eat. Mm -hmm. I'm so buried in my book. I'm, I'm half eating. I thought I was hungry, but... I'm really invested in this book now because I feel like it's the only thing that connects me to me after having Do you have that book book. out? Yeah, I got my book out. Because I haven't seen it yet, but I've seen the book before. (laughs) Oh. (laughs) (laughs) And I think this whole time, everyone's been trying to guess who you are and I haven't been that bothered, but every time I look at you, I'm like, I know I'm from somewhere. This will be the first time I think I've seen the book. Yeah, I assume that you're not sort of trying to hide it or anything, right? You've got it out on the table. Yeah, no, I just got it right out. And, Shot on uh, display at Stars and Noble. And you're on it, right? You said it was like your your face is the cover or whatever. Yeah, so I have a giant uh, a <laughs> portrait of me, like smug, just like this, doing this pose. Hand your book photo. It almost doesn't fit yeah. on the cover. It almost <laughs> that's that's poorly the of the back. Yeah, yeah. He had, like had them move the title so that it's not actually <laughs> visually pleasing because it, otherwise yeah. it would obscure his bicep. He's like, no, get that, get that away from. Me. All of that needs to be in there. Yeah. I I spit out the food then, and contrary <laughs> to, to the previous <laughs> thing, I, I knew I knew you from somewhere. Uh, yeah, what? He's the rash man. Right. Yeah. It's that book. Oh, you've seen my book before. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. It's like the only thing I saw for about a month. When did that come out? Oh, it got released about a year ago, and, uh, well, the sales have been doing great. What? Uh, three years uh, ago. Wait. Oh, yeah, right. <laughs> oh, three, three years ago. Yeah. So what? So what? You oh, seen no. this? Yeah, 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 yeah. Did yeah, you yeah, buy yeah. a copy? No. Nah. Oh, uh, were, were you thinking about buying a copy? Nah, I probably still got a couple hundred of them knocking about in the back of my freighter. Oh. Well, I mean, you should probably get that to a store. There are probably a lot of readers, you know. Oh, no, nah, no, nah, they, they were all boxes being sent back. What? <laughs> what do you yeah. mean sent back? I don't know, they send them back sometimes. I mean, most of the time when they send that stuff back, we don't actually take it back. We just dump it on an empty moon. Space it. I just have this like blank expression. On I, 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 I would have, I, I, I would have ordered one. If I had known who you were, I, well, I would have bought, I would have bought one. I, I appreciate it, Effie. I, I do, but it's, it's okay. I, I understand. Some, you know, I have a feeling that maybe uh, authoring books just wasn't my thing. Uh, maybe uh, this is more of like a journal for me. Are you are you going to eat that? No, go for it. I have just uh, an entire uh, 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 When I was picking up my food, I was still like looking into my book. I was completely unaware of what I was dumping on my tray. So I have like this nasty amalgamation of just every type of food piled into like a mountain <laughs> the gravy <laughs> the, the vegan like... protein bar <laughs> some salad a cake some ice yeah. cream barbecue sauce yeah, yeah. it's pretty much that <laughs> sprinkles <laughs> oh man well call this that is the garbage eye-opening. plate <laughs> well did any of you care to read it i mean I, I, this is i'll read my it my personal copy yeah you're more than welcome I go and hand her the book. Oh. The spine is cracked. It's it's a very worn-in book. I'm going to put you on the spot here. I'm going to open it to a random page. What is What does it say? Number one. <laughs> if you're a loser... Actually, hold on a second. Let me put He's some reverb it. on this. <laughs> as if you're reading this in Flanagan's voice. Okay. Number one. If you're a loser, look into the mirror. Turn your attention to the patented Flanagan head mirror sticker and cover your head with my perfect face for an instant boost of confidence and success. Imagining yourself as me is your key to achievement. (laughs) Wow. (laughs) There's some um, great advice in here. Thank you. 
I appreciate I'll more of this later. How does it, how does it end? Uh, oh, it's just lists and lists of great life advice. I, I don't. <laughs> what? I'll read more of this later. I just imagine, I just imagine Luca, you know, like shoveling food in, and he's got so much food in his cheeks that it's just dribbling out the front of his mouth. <laughs> like as he's trying he's, to process that it's not a what? story. <laughs> it's more like a like a how to live your life as great as, as me. Ye, ye. <laughs> That's pretty much what it is. It's just living your life as me because I've been doing a pretty good job at it. I mean, despite some things, but you know, that's just what life is. But you have your, but you're still alive. You're here. Yes, yes, I am. I don't have to be dead to have a book. Well, well, why did you? Why did you sign up for this then? Well, it all started. <laughs> I was at a charity event, mm-hmm. and this was, of course, for all the popular D-list celebrities, the galaxy. D-list? I've was... never heard of the D-list before. Yeah, we're the kind of extras that uh, get recognized in the big films. Like, I was actually the uh, extra that had the back of his head shown in uh, Star Crushers 5. Yeah. Oh, uh, go to I one. love Star Crushers! I fucking love Star Crushers 5. Yeah, that was a good one. If you go to an hour and five minutes. Not so much, but the other ones are great. Uh, Oh, oh, in the party scene? Yep, you can see the back of my head. There were a lot of people in that scene. Which head was it? Uh, it was the... About your hair? Oh, yes. Uh, I mean, my hair is very noticeable, but I was all the way in the corner. Uh, I digress, but... uh, That was where I met the doc, and uh, I thought he was just somebody, you know, there for a charity. That's what I thought, and without really putting much thought into it, I signed the paper in front of a camera, and they were shaking hands. He would look very confused, but I thought it was all for, like, good charity. You know, it makes you look good when you do nice things. Next I knew, I was taken away, and uh, now I'm here. Then I didn't, I I never read that contract, but apparently I should have. Yeah. Yeah, but uh, anyways, it's a good question. How, how did you end up here, Effie? Uh, well, it's also kind of a long story, although actually it's rather a short one. Um, the doc actually just said I could be better at being a sniper. So I uh, said, sure. He said he could like enhance me or whatever. That's very ambiguous. It's, uh... Yeah, I guess I guess it was. He just said there's a chance that you could be better at these things. And so I said, okay, I will try it. You said sure, something. what have I got to lose? You want to be a better sniper? Y- yes, I do. Were I think I'm pretty- Were you a sniper before? Sorry? Were you a sniper before? Uh, it's complicated. I was and I wasn't, if that makes sense. Uh, I'm actually, I'm, I'm actually a clone. So I'm a clone of somebody who used to be a sniper. Like so I've actually never sniped, but I know how to do it, and I kind of want to be better. Is that how that works? How does it work? How's what work? How does it work? Like clone right. you and you get all the skills of the previous thing what you clone. Pretty much. You have a, Do you have any like a moments where you are um, uh, like uh, like a twin, like you uh, like that that the, the, your, the, 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 a clone get hurt and you feel it. I've never, I don't know. I don't think so. Wait, I mean, did you have to grow up born. or do you like come out right. fully yeah, made? That, that's oh, a, that's I woke different. up fully made. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, I woke so up fully just made. Like, and then I met the doc. So. Control C, Control V, and there you are. Yeah, pretty much. Except I'm, I'm the key. We don't have a childhood. I. Wow, you missed out. Yeah, that's what she's like. Childhood. Uh, you didn't get that much. You didn't have a I, uh Luca puts down his food and stops eating. Uh, Do you have a childhood? D- well, no. I mean, I'm fully grown when I come out. Ow! What do you mean? What do you mean? I'm, I'm, I'm. It's me. It's what I. Oh, is there a machine that does it? I think so. Oh, thank God! Oh my God! 
Holy <laughs> crap! Or do you think that just like they just not how that works? No, like I didn't. Two have aliens like this. horrifically being torn into two, and then there's just another one stood next to it, dripping in blood. Oh no, I've, I've I don't never... know how cl uh, clones work. Yeah, I've never, I've never met my whatever that's called. Your creator? Well, no, the the, the original, I guess. That's Effie a dirty Prime. word. What? Effie Prime. Oh, I think... Yeah, I guess. I watched an anime once about clones. There were thousands of them. Oh. Probably hundreds of thousands of them, but one of them was the Prime clone. It was the first one. That was a bad guy. I don't think mine's a bad guy. Mine works for the government. Yeah, so you do know him. So he well, is I mean, a bad I, guy, or she is a bad guy. Well, I, I mean, I know of her. She's a very, you know, skilled sniper with the government, and they cloned, they made me just in case something happened to her. But she's nothing a has ever happened. She's government, and you reckon she's not a bad guy? Well, I mean, I don't think so. Yeah, she's a bad guy. I can smell it. Ow. Just have that. I just have that gut instinct. That's some bad guy stuff going on here. Why it's right? Okay. Okay. <laughs> She's a bad guy. You want to watch out. Watch out for what? You could be like the anti-hero, though, which is like somebody who's a bad guy, but not really a bad guy. Kind of like the whole debacle with eating people. I mean, we're not really bad. I am a cannibal. What if she's the only good one? And there are hundreds of Effies out there and they're all evil. I don't, I think that's against the law. I think you can only have a couple on back up. I don't like to think about it too much, to be honest. Yeah, but if you're being cloned by the government and they're cloning a bad guy, they they ain't gonna play by the rules, are they? There could be hundreds and thousands of evil effies and you're like one what got away, escaped. Oh my God. Sounds like the start to a great story. You yeah. might actually have to start writing this down. I think, think I'm gonna vomit. Well, you will be ripping off the anime I watched. I think during this uh, uh, conversation, you hear the honk of uh, his chair being uh, pushed out uh, as he pushes away from the table. I'm sorry, did you say the honk of the his honk. chair? Yeah, you know <laughs> that. that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and as he, uh, as he, uh, the honk, you know, a chair honk. And uh, he makes his way over to the food uh, and he grabs uh, probably an orange or something, a space orange, uh, and pockets it and comes back uh, and with a slight smirk on his face, continues eating. Oh, hey, Luca, you reckon you can lift up Effie? What? Yeah. Why? I, I weigh just as much as a regular person. Yeah, but look at the size of him. He's an absolute fucking unit. Yeah, I mean, he probably could. Try and throw her up in the air no, like don't, a baby. I don't no. Try and catch her so she knows what it's like to be a baby. You trying to give her a childhood right now? <laughs> yeah, but you can, like, pick her up, can't it? And, like... Re re create a I, child. I don't think, like, I don't think, that. back I don't think that's how that works, Wyatt. Like, monumental arms. Look at him. Hey. Is no? It, is it something you want? Me? Um. <laughs> Are you projecting things on <laughs> is it other people? Listen, I had a child at all. <laughs> Did they just throw you? Me me maybe. Just pick her up and throw her in the air. Just make sure you catch her. That's what you do with babies, isn't it? Throw them around. Ceiling is too, too short. Oh, all right. Yeah. I'm yeah, not a I baby expert. Well, when we go to the mech hangar, babies. look, people I throw babies up wondered. and down. They just catch them, all right? Yeah. And then the baby always laughs. It looks like yeah. a good time. I wonder That's if we're going to have a dream of us being babies. We've already had a dream of being somebody else, which is still freaking me out, by the way. Yeah. What if we have a dream of being born? Hmm. Well, I can't, I don't, wow, that, that, I guess that would be cool. Why would we, why, why am I, why am I imagining that? Is that a thing that n normal people remember? Well, I don't know, we're obviously dreaming about other people's memories or something. I don't, I, I don't remember being born. When does the memory start? I'm not an expert, but I, I'm, 100% positive there's a 60% chance that we remember things at the age of two. What about if next time we go to sleep, we try and think about someone and see if we can like walk into them? I don't oh want to God. think about being anybody else but me. All right. All right, well, the rest of us can do it. Maybe that's what we can do. 
do you Maybe think? You, I, I don't want to do that again. I'm going to try and have a dream memory walk into the Effie Prime, find out if she's evil. Well, well I do that all the time, and nothing happens. Yeah, but you ain't never had a dream like earlier on, have you? Uh, uh, well, I have had dreams before from Effie Prime, I guess, but it's things that happen to so her. So you do have twin things? Like well, twin powers? No, I don't, I wouldn't You're necessarily get them the power. They're just, it's just, it's, you know what? It's weird. I please, felt like please tell the me memory that, of last night. Please tell me that Flanagan has an entire section of his book devoted to twins. <laughs> twins and Addison. <laughs> you know, unfortunately, I don't. I actually have a notepad of passages. Of things. I don't have one of those. Stu, Stu was Not a twin yet. in the womb, but he ate the other one out of narcissism. Yeah, 100%. You know, that's that's his it. chapter on twins. Twins. <laughs> you twin were born a twin, you lost. I but I ate him out. because I was more superior. <laughs> It could only be one. Well, he lost it. Rock, paper, scissors. <laughs> Don't continue reading this book until you no longer do it. <laughs> God. Well, I mean, I, I think I think the dream that I had last night felt more real than any of the Effie Prime dreams I ever had. Those kind of felt like a weird. Oh, you have the dream. I, I've had dreams before, but they they just felt like dreams. I didn't feel any attachment to it, even if it was supposed to be me or Effie Prime, you know? Yeah, it was a realistic dream. You, are you interested in finding Effie Prime? Is it something you wish to, to find? Because I, if, really. if I were in your shoes, I would be all about trying to uh, meet uh, my Prime. I, 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 not really, to be honest. I was at first, but now I just want to be better. That's why I went to the doctor. So that maybe they'll pick me instead of Effie Prime. Well, yeah. if you want to be better, you can hold on to my book. I'm more than yeah, happy. I will. I will read all of it. Thank you. And I need a sticker to put on my mirror. Yeah, we don't sell those anymore. Well, maybe you could just uh, come over and I could draw your face with a marker. I would rather you not. You have no idea how many people actually put the stickers on their windows and would go speeding, and I got those speeding tickets. Oh. At one point, I had over 10,000 speeding tickets. Wow. Yeah, we don't do that anymore. <laughs> they, they, they have positive ideas, just the face of the sticker. <laughs> that's him, that's him, that's the guy. They revoked my license. It's literally like a photo of yeah, very a, clearly a sticker. Yeah. That's him. It was that a profile shot. And again. Seeing it on their window. <laughs> so when they drive by, it just looks like he's driving. Well, the bright side of the moon. I'm very well traveled. I need traveled. fan art of that so <laughs> badly. <laughs> like, it's gotta be. It's so obvious. Like, it's just, it's all distorted and stretched because it's a sticker. But, like, like if this were a Simpsons episode, that's literally what would have happened. Just, Cut to that scene. Like, <laughs> it's just, it's Flanagan just brings it out of people. Like, yeah, that's him. It's you know, like, that's like just <laughs> that feeling. Like, <laughs> There's like a page in the book that's just a sticker part where you can peel stickers yeah. out. And yeah. Put them on stuff. Five episodes later, there's like a robbery and it's just people with paper bags and Flanagan stickers. <laughs> oh, come on! <laughs> Facial recognition technology is really screwing me. He's like technically the most wanted man in the universe. This is the <laughs> real it's reason. Auto this is the people. real reason that he signed up for the trial. <laughs> Is his headshot sticker that they thought would be a great idea. <laughs> oh, my cheeks are already, and we're like 10 minutes in. <gasps> oh, I signed it because I knew they weren't looking at my criminal records. They would have jailed me the second they saw me. Oh, so, you, so you're a bad guy. Not, no, not intentionally. You go to jail doesn't make you a bad guy. I like have what you, you ever have been to, to say. Jail? You can still go to jail just because you're in the military now. You know that, right? Hmm, true. You ain't above the law. Uh, yes. That is very true. And also, can I quote that in my book? Uh, my book. I'll d absolutely give you credit as just an acquaintance who gave me that, but I inspired you to say it. As long as it just says acquaintance and not my name. 
Oh, no, I was talking to Luca. Just because you go to jail doesn't make you a bad guy. <laughs> uh. Did you right. actually know that Le Luca had uh, came from a penal colony? He just what? mentioned it. Like, oh, you on, did like, mention it. Okay, I missed that. Yeah, she was like, yeah. and he just went, Ugh. <laughs> like, just uh, under his breath as he finished eating. Okay. Oh, so, so you so you have been to jail. What's it like? Is it true that the toilet and the sink are fused together and you gotta drink the nah, nah, toilet water? To, nah, nah, you have to make sure that you have it on the right setting. Oh God, there's a setting. Why would there be a setting to funnel it's, the toilet water it's through too, the? It's it is it's it was to uh, cut down on plumbing. I I heard. I, it's people make the joke. He said, and people make that mistake a lot, and it's just been nothing but complaints there. Oh, oh God. Did the... so? Then how did you? How did wait? You just got out of jail, and then you decided you'd come here for this experiment? Uh, more um, offer. Uh, this instead. Oh. What? What do you mean, offer? Wait, they, they equated this to a jail sentence? I. I. Uh, sign up for jail? I think he's the only smart one here. Wait, is what so, I've just realized. Right, hang on. So that means you must have committed a crime. What'd you do? Hey, hey is that insensitive? Well, well maybe it's not. It's not a big deal. Nah, he killed someone. Look at him. Who'd you kill? I snorty. I some you 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 done right with this? Yeah, here you can have it. Uh, cool. All right. So we're about that um, vision. Everybody, uh, oh, right? What? I <laughs> really awkwardly to change the subject. <laughs> I I want to know what did you do? Like what, what's going on here? I answer need to the know. question. Well, me me me. What if you don't answer the question, I'm just going to think about you when I go to sleep, and then I'll walk into the night that you strangled your own wife. Or what? Why are you, you assuming God. that he strangled well, his wife? Well, That's I don't know what he did. the assumption to make. He might have strangled his own manager what if he at work. Strangles you? He might don't have eaten you him. ever talk about my wife again? Did you eat her on accident? That's what it was. No. Oh, okay. God, when he I went didn't. all silent, I was afraid there for a second. No, I didn't. If you have to know, it's um, my um, my uh, my wife at the time, and I had a little baby. Lily was her name. Uh, she beautiful, a little girl, and. Uh, Uh, I, it's, uh, sorry, guys. You know why? Since I've had to think about it. You, you, you don't have to tell us. Holy shit! Why you you're an asshole? Not the, the, the baby, the baby. I, I, Stop I, I whisper it. over to Wyatt. He didn't eat the baby, did he? You think he, he kind of killed his own baby? I did not eat the baby. Did not eat Lily. It was taken from me. Oh. I, uh, an officer who was trying to uphold the peace and took my baby instead. So I took him. Now I'm here. I'm gonna get more nut sauce. And he gets up and uh, makes his way towards the. Uh... Holy shit! Holy shit! Luca's a badass. He's a fucking absolute beast. He ate the person trying to steal. I, I don't know if he ate them, I but he ate them. I don't know that's what he was doing. Like, look at his arms. I imagine he just like ripped him limb from limb. Oh my god, he's like a vengeance bear. Thank God he's on our side. Yeah, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna piss him off. Nah. No, yeah, no, we no, no, should, no, no. should maybe not bring that up again. Yeah, I thought he was like yeah. super nice. You know, I thought he was like, I don't know, woodcutter or something. I thought he just like went postal or something. You know, well, maybe he killed did. someone at a convenience store. But this is this is a bit, this is a bit crazy. 
He's just they... like a bear. It's like you he's look like... at a bear like, oh, we have nothing to worry about, cuddly fun. And then the next yeah, second, you know, he's just know. You know, torn your head off. Like your friend, John Wick, in your book. Yeah, like like him. That mm-hmm. guy. He's exactly like, John, like that guy. John Wick. Yeah, don't mess with uh, don't mess with John. Yeah. All right, well, the, we're sort of in jail with him, but we're sort of on his side as well, so that's good, right? Yeah, I guess so. We should be nice to him, and everyone brings snacks with you when we go out next, so we can give them to him if he looks hungry. Yeah, that's what a, if he gets... That's a good idea. What if he gets hungry and then he gets violent? Yeah, then he's going to start snapping necks. I think the, the, the violence and hunger have a connection here. Yeah, don't mention babies <laughs> or wives. Ooh, do you think he got mad when I said I was never a baby? Do you think he got mad when I said I killed his wife? <laughs> <laughs> he killed his wife. No, he got mad that I was never a baby. Oh my god. <laughs> it's just dawned on me. We were making him do the like father experience. Oh yeah. Oh, oh god. Let's not do that again. What if he like freaks I- out? And I, like thinks that you're his baby, and that like Flanagan, like the the guy that tried to kidnap her, and he goes wild and just starts seeing things and just grabs Flanagan. And Wait, he's coming back! Shh. I don't want to die. Like a... Shh. I don't want to die either. Yeah, and that's why I, and that's why I don't go to the cinema to watch stuff anymore. I just wait till it comes out. Yeah, God, God, this I do watch also it think right Luke is a great guy. Oh, he's awesome! Yeah, he's so yeah, cool. He's oh, hey, hey, Luca. Yeah, I saved you a little bit of uh Yeah, the edge of this uh this this I don't want yeah, you should eat this. It's the nice bit, you know, the ends. I also wait for the movie to come out first. Yeah. And I watch it. As he's as he sentimentally he grabs, the, quietly grabs the tray and is driving. I don't prison. think I've ever actually seen a movie now that I think about it. <laughs> well, uh right, nope. well, I'm pretty sure if we could go and I could go and show you to my uh to my starship and i think i might have a fresh copy of that book and also you don't have to use that one because there's some stains on the back of that what look at the back of it oh can i have that book back is this nut sauce can i have that book it's back definitely yeah. not sauce. just have that book back he's okay. got copies yep. i'll take i yep. just sure. I just I mean, I think i've got some as well but we Perfect. could watch a movie because i've got like a whole setup thing in the front hey, like, let's go yeah yeah let's go watch a movie yeah, that sounds good. Are we supposed to be doing something important? We're just going to watch a movie? I think I we're supposed, know what to, be we're doing supposed to be doing No, I have no idea. We probably should tell someone that we've been asleep for 24 hours and dreaming of the past, but we could also go and watch Skull Crusher 3, which, by the way, was great because it was a prequel. We haven't seen it. Well, we something to, to, something to keep one. in mind, you guys actually passed out in the, in the mess hall, and you woke up in beds. That's true. Yeah, we just don't care about that. thinking about that right that. now. I don't think any of them. Oh my god, Skull Crusher 3 in my yeah. freighter. Come on. I'm going to grab just a handful of uh, nut sauce on my way out. Just trying to remember, like, hey, in case Luca gets. Yeah, I'm grabbing snacks as well and, like, filling my pockets up. But they're like Luca snacks. Luca but they're. Snacks. Luca, 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 Luca happy snack. <laughs> 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 Okay. Although it is in my spandex pants, so you see like bulges of nut sauce, like as the (laughs) (laughs) tubes of bulges of nuts. You only see bulges of nut sauce. Add quote. (laughs) All right. So, because out of context, in like six, I will probably grab some snacks finally as well. Like fruit. I have (laughs) snacks in my pocket. Okay. So you guys are gonna try and find uh, Wyatt's Wyatt's ship. They told me last time that I, it was where I left it. Okay. Uh, I don't know where that is necessarily, but I'm going to aim for that. Yeah. 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 Um, let's see. Why you have a trigger, I think, that might help you with this. Am I wrong? Mm. Travel knowledge. Not nah, really. Um, yeah, travel yeah. knowledge is more like general. Give me, a, give me a general grit roll then. Nine. Okay. Which is a fail. So Wyatt's uh, leading the way, and he's he stops at a few like intersections, right? Like a few forks in the in the path <laughs> as you guys are moving along. Um, and uh, he goes a few different routes, 
you're you guys are looking for a good like 15 minutes still not really sure where this place is Wyatt you were sure that you remembered where this place was I was sure it, I remember like, where this place was like the the the, the, the well, do you want to ask starship for hanger no 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 <laughs> down there, but now we've kind of wandered <laughs> off to be honest this hallway looks like that last hallway and then that last hallway looks like the hallway that I think I was looking for so I don't really now I really I think don't we're know. lost I think you should just ask yeah. someone no we're not gonna ask because no, I we know where we're going we don't need to know. yeah I know, know, I know where, you know where going. we're going yeah I know where to go don't worry I I want to I want to take the lead Okay. He can always sense the nearest direction of one of his books, like locate object. There's a shot of me nearby, right around this corner. He actually has like an implant in his brain, and there's microchips in each of the books, so that he yeah. can he can sense the closest book. Um, okay. So, uh, you guys are walking around this place. Uh, Stu, you take the lead. Why don't you go ahead and uh, give me a grit roll? See if you can figure this out. Let's see. It's a 15. Okay. That's not bad. Yeah, not bad. Uh, I think we're going to add a level of difficulty to this, uh, however, because you have an invocation um, that says C minus. Oh, no, wait. That's a plus. (laughs) Somehow that's a plus. Never mind. (laughs) Never mind. (laughs) Never mind. 15 it is. 15 it is. Uh, okay. So, yeah, there's there's a sign or something. It's close by. And uh, you just, you guys head to uh, to, to the shipyard. Um, Wyatt, what does your ship look like? <gasps> did you ever see my No Man's Sky run, Wack? I did. I did. Did you ever see the Fat Gordon? I don't, I don't remember. Don't it's remember. It's the... It, it was a big red freighter, but it was one of the ones that had the two giant square sides, and then it has like a yes! like a like a bird looking crane neck and head coming out of the front kind of thing. I know which one it is? I know exactly which one that is. Um, yeah, I have yeah. several hundred hours of No Man's Sky, I so I know I which just say exactly it is. This one you you can probably quote back exactly what make and model type it is or whatever from uh, from the game. But yeah, I think it looks like that. It's it's huge, like it's really big. But the actual area where the pilot sits is quite small, and then there's just a giant couple of engines for long distance travel, and then a big, um, huge um, whatever it's called for all the boxes and stuff to go in the back storage. Okay. Yeah, so it's it's uh it's a freighter um that he's got. It it's uh it's got the the sort of you know uh two fat sort of um pylon like sides to it. Um and uh what do you guys I mean you see this like in wow. in the hangar. Oh, that. <laughs> this is yours? Yeah, well, actually technically no, sort of. Well, I sort of rent it it's sort of on loan to me from the company, but I think I probably haven't got a job there anymore, so it's half mine. Does that mean you stole it? Well, I parked it here, and then I got in the goopy vat thing, yeah. and, and I thought it'd be a week and I'd be able to go back to work. Yeah. Now, I actually haven't called up and found out whether I still work at star x it's probably like a star like it's the fedex logo but it says star instead of fed star x on the side of it Perfect. um uh, yeah i point out yeah so i probably can't wait yeah. i i thought you were a mech pilot well you, you said you had all that experience i thought i thought you were a mech pilot no i'm just a pilot you're not a mech pilot no i'm a starship pilot look it's a starship you think i've ever you think i've got a mech from it's not a starship, it's a freighter. Well, it's a starship, technically. You yeah, know, technically, it's around. a starship, yeah. But yeah. I think all of you That's get the is. impression immediately from looking at this thing that this thing handles like a like a brick. Oh, and, dude, it's, and it's, it's slow as shit. Like it's all like rusted. And, it's so rust there's got to be this like crestfallen feeling <laughs> that just kind of comes over you. <laughs> Yeah, like all the buttons and that are basically the same in the other thing, you know? 
oh. all the same stuff, you know. It's a little bit newer looking, but you know, forward oh, okay. is forward, up is up. Oh. Well, it's more experience than I have. Yeah. yeah, it's definitely more experience. Just when we were in the simulation, you know, you look, you were going, you know, all for it. We just, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. It, I'm it sorry. Make it sound oh, like you were a pilot, is, you know. Have Have you ever been in battle before? What? With what? You haven't been in. What do you mean? Is that why you self-destruct? <laughs> what? No, I just self-destructed because I was bored. Oh. Because you don't not know how to fight. I well, can teach I can... you to fight if you want to. <laughs> well, no, I've, I don't think I want to learn from you today. Maybe another day. Not that I wouldn't want to learn from you. You're a really nice chap. If I was going to learn from anyone, I'd like I to learn. From you, but I don't want to. Yeah. Yeah, well, maybe not today. I just ate a bit. I don't want to get into this. I, and I feel great. Yeah, but I'm, I've got a very weak... I've got IBS. All right. And I don't want to rolling around, you know, and practicing stuff. Uh, okay, but next time we do the simulation, you, you've you got to actually try. I didn't know that you didn't know yeah, what you were doing. No, I didn't know we had we we, been scored. I just, listen, Wyatt, we can't go out there unless we get an A. Yeah, I'm going to get an A next time. You promise? Like I said, I'm a Starship pilot. If something falls off the starship. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, look, and it, like I'll probably like walk up to it and try and fucking open the back. I want to try and see if the, we do have a box of bumper. <laughs> yeah. Um. Yeah. So you type in. I assume you have some kind of like access panel or something on the on the storage compartment yeah, of the back. Probably not flashy. Yeah. Yeah. Just absolutely. A button like code. Um, it's like nine, 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 nine. Give me a grit nine. roll. Give me a grit roll. One, Hope one. the company hasn't changed it and locked you out. Always lock me out. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> two. Um, you start typing in the usual, the usual uh, code. It does not work. Let me try again. Uh oh. No, you don't want to do it wrong three times or. Uh, what? what happens? Yeah, give me does another grit roll. <laughs> Fifteen. <laughs> yeah, on the last one, you actually you type in the right code. Oh, I remember. I changed the last one to eight because there was a little fellow trying to break into it last time. Yeah. You didn't tell us what happened if you got it wrong three times. What yeah. would have happened? Then I. What? What do you mean you don't know? Never got it wrong in, before. Inside the ship, by the way, there's like retractable, like, like mines that get You're like right. put back into the wall, you know? It's like floating down in the air. I don't know. <laughs> like a turret has like gone, like powered back up into the ceiling. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah it's all cleared up though by the time the door opens. So, like, the hatch opens oh, and everything's yeah. hidden again. <laughs> I just don't give a shit. I've only had this one for four years, so I don't really know what these I new dart in. I'm like, wow! And I go in to look around. Do you live in here? What is this? Uh, well, sort of. Not, I don't live Wow, this is now, fantastic. Oh, you have your own mini fridge? Time. Yeah, there's a mini fridge. Um, probably oh. not. Oh. It's been a year. Oh my god, look at all these books. Not a single one. This is literally haven't been opened. Well, one yeah, of them is mine. It's pretty yeah, smart. I might just leave them here, actually. You know, they'll probably get rid of them, wouldn't they? Yeah, help me with these boxes. I'm gonna start dumping the boxes out. Ah, on careful! The, on the it just all spills <laughs> out. My yeah. yeah, stickers, no, no, stickers, and books space, everywhere. You know, I'm supposed to take them back to the depot, but no one likes doing that because it's all paperwork. The book, as the books spill out, you say, uh, you see, like on the books, um. Uh, super, super, no, super discount. There's a super <laughs> discount sticker. Oh, on no! <laughs> like, Bargain I bin. Like, I didn't know was 40, 50, 80 has been like stamped <laughs> over. <laughs> yeah, you can tell it's multiple stickers have gone on there. It's, <laughs> you can see like a hint of like 50, 50% 50 and it just goes up to 80% yeah. off. <laughs> Um, I will grab a couple, actually. There's one for me. There's one for Luca, Wyatt, 8,900. Got yeah. it. Okay. I'm busy okay. putting all the books that have spilled over you know, the boxes, like, back in the box, then, like, stacking them neatly in a corner. <laughs> <laughs> 
Oh, man. Lisa, be great. I got copies for everybody. Ah, uh, would you autograph them? Oh, yes, absolutely. And I just pull a pen out. It's actually <laughs> one of my pins that I have. It actually functions as a pen. And when I pull it out, there is, of course, <laughs> the, it's like, let me, let me describe this. So it's like a rectangle pin. But when I pull it out, hidden, then the pin is actually a little face of me at the near the oh goodness tip. So while I'm signing it, like whoever I'm signing it towards can look at my, it's my just, and it's like <laughs> winking. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so oh, that's I great. Sign, I go ahead and sign off all the books with this very large. It starts off with a large F and then flitters off into absolute scribble because Flanagan doesn't know how to sign his own name. <laughs> just, do you sign it like to Effie or anything, or do you just sign your name as big as possible all over the page? I'll, I'll make it out to everybody, but okay. I, I butcher the names. I'm, oh, okay. <laughs> I'm like, it's Starbucks. Uh, my like, name has two Fs. Okay, that that's all right. You know what? That's beautiful. Oh, I'm sorry. That's, perfect. that's okay. It's, it's great. That's great. Thank you. It has a just extra personal touch to it now that I've uh, misspelled your name. Now, you see, what I've been told is that people get, like, a, you know, the space Starbucks, they purposely misspell the name, so they'll uh, post it on Starbucks. there. Starbucks. <laughs> yeah, space Wait. Starbucks. You've been there? They, like, always misspell the name, so, like... Space Bucks? Space Bucks, yes. So, like, they'll post it on social media, and it's free advertising. I've taken, I've taken it uh, to that kind of marketing. That's why oh. I've spelled your name wrong. Oh, well, I mean, I could just remove an F. It, it, uh, it'd be probably just as easy, you know, then then okay. you would have spelled it right. Oh, true. Yeah, very true. Yeah, if you did that. But don't worry about it. That's why I do it secretly. That's not why he does it. He just doesn't know how to spell <laughs> most things. Yeah, so what does the interior of the ship look like, uh, Wyatt? <laughs> Aside from having the these lines. crates and things everywhere. Yeah. It's like a, it's like a, the, a, just a giant cube. There's varying boxes and things. Some of them look like they've been there forever. Some of them look kind of no. Uh, most of them are strapped down. Some of them might not be. And then there's like a little, little kind of ladder and walkway that leads up into the cockpit, which is you can see up into. Mm -hmm. um, and is I it a small, like it. a small cockpit, like for one person? It is, but it has like the greatest like easy chair of all time up there. Um, <laughs> just the most comfortable looking thing that functions as a bed and everything as like a big like big gulp cup holder type thing um and uh i climb up there and i hit a button and a giant screen just comes down is I think it messy in here like a like just general scraps of oh it's a bachelor pad it's just yeah. a middle like 30s dude bachelor pad there's just there's protein that to go bar like wrappers it's it's disgusting in here because yeah, it's, it's pretty bad. Two or three years since anybody has been in there's here. Like, to clean there's it. like a there's like there's a, a smell like for hamburger. sure. There's there a is smell. a smell. Oh god! There is the bachelor pad smell Hot in here. Hamburger. Um, it smells sauce. like that old broccoli smell. Yeah, it's, it's broccoli, but I, I don't even notice it, even though it's even there's probably like rotting food in here somewhere. That's musk. And, uh, <laughs> uh, hit a button and a big screen comes down Wait. and I uh, yeah I installed that myself um, wow. ooh, it's got over 5,000 movies on it do you have any of his movies 10,000 TV shows uh his movie well Skull Crusher 5's on there yeah oh yeah Definitely. I have seen a movie I've seen Skull Crusher 5 yeah, Luca, pick you've up that got, box uh, there, the pink one. You've got basic Dude. access to the OmniNet, so as long as there's a Blink-8 nearby... It's got Space Flicks. It has. It's got Space Flicks. Oh, and, amazing. And Amazon Space Prime as well. <laughs> we can get away with that one because we're on Twitch. <laughs> 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 and I, uh, I direct Luca to a, a box. I think that's Let's one be honest. Going to, I mean, even sorry. though there was an apocalypse 11,000 years ago, Bezos Prime definitely survived. <laughs> one thing survived. It was Jeff Bezos' bank account. Um, uh, yeah, that one was going to uh, Bed Bath and Space. So, oh. in there, I think there's some cushions. 
So none of them. these people got any of their packages? Well, well, some of them did. Some of them were going back. Some of them are defunct. Dang. Some of them box smells pretty. It's like cinnamon. For the most part, there's like there's just a little and I pull up another little tablet thing on here. I just look at where I've got to go and who's getting what box with the numbers on it. I don't really. You know, sometimes it comes out and a line goes through them. Sometimes they just disappear off the pad, so they just stay in here or I throw them on a moon. Yeah, but That's I mean, th these have been sitting here for however many years, so no one will miss them, right? I can open them? It's like Christmas presents? I don't know if I'm fired yet, so maybe. You don't want me do to you, open them? Do you access your tablet? Your tablet I'll, for I'll, the rounds? I'll just, <laughs> yeah, hold on, just see one thing. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, check something real quick. Who, <laughs> Wyatt? Who is your boss? Oh God! Oh, please tell yeah. me it's like a slew of those passive aggressive emails. If you don't respond right now, you're fired. No, but really, oh, two hours later. <laughs> it's like a. It, at the time, he was like 16. You know, <laughs> like my my middle man, like the guy that owns the company is probably like the fucking cat from uh, the the. Hey, hey, how you doing? Yeah, I don't get that box out of here. But the my direct supervisor is for sure like a 16 year old, like oh. a little bit of fuzz on his chin. You know, kind of like well, I got a bow tie. He does everything properly, and everything is. As soon as, as soon as you open up your tablet, you're bombarded by like video messages. Yeah, from this 14 year old. Yeah, yeah. look at this little twat. Yeah. his name's Noodle. Oh my god. <laughs> his name is Noodle. It's yeah. his name. Yeah, what's wrong with that? That's a pretty normal name from Lamelia. It's where you're from. Yeah. Oh. Oh, wait. Yeah, well, it's all right. Bit of a shit hole. You know, you ever been to that planet? Uh, what was it again? Oh, the planet's called Nofus. No, no. Cl clone? I've been alive for like three years. No. All right, well, it's just, it's just concrete. That, that is crazy that you've only been alive for three years. Yeah, yeah it's a bit weird. That it's is kind of strange. Sorry. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's I don't usually soul. talk about it. Right, that means we have to. It. We can't watch Skull Crusher. If we, if we, come here. But, I delete. By the way, I'm systematically deleting all of his. <laughs> <laughs> you looked up like Flanagan, and you're just like, Doing me. yeah, <laughs> like Wyatt. You've got to. <laughs> hey Wyatt, return my mess. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Wyatt, there, uh, there's, <laughs> there's been no delivery. Um. <laughs> <laughs> space are really pissed at me. <laughs> <laughs> you were supposed to bring a set of books, dude. Um, and uh, yeah, I'm just deleting through all of them, like until I get to the last one. And I'll be like, right, this is the one fired or not. It's this one's just called that's it. <laughs> okay, you Play. open. Do you open it up? Yeah. Okay. Listen, Wyatt. Uh, I've been told by the higher ups that uh, you you have not been doing a great job, and uh, unfortunately, this is your termination notice. You're going to be required to bring the ship back immediately. Uh, uh, to to uh, was it Lemire? Uh, Lamelia. Lamelia. Um. Uh, to, to Lamelia, um, immediately, uh, we're going to need you to um, make sure that it's all filled up with fuel and um, that all of the packages are returned immediately. Uh, I have in-depth information on your stock, and uh, I expect you... I don't need <laughs> 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 Yeah, and then I, 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 like, throw the tablet down and go, yeah, you can help yourself to the stuff. <gasps> Yes, all right. Oh, awesome. Yeah, I was going to take those books anyways. I mean, technically, they are mine. Yeah, I think one of these is a... is a... nut sauce. I look for the biggest box, and I want to open that. <laughs> I'm sorry, Okay, Mac. uh, go ahead and roll me your grit roll, <laughs> please, sorry, Effie. You made the joke in space. <laughs> you should apologize to yourself. Apologize to Karen. What? For For what? Oh, I thought you were making a, for me. I want to open a big box joke. That's what. Oh, no. <laughs> no, but I should have. Okay, grit? Grit roll. Okay, I'm ready. 
Uh, let me see if I have any. No, I don't. Okay. A 14. Okay. Yes! So, you open up the box. Uh, it's full of um, mecha figurines. Unassembled. What? They're unassembled, but they're oh. like mecha kits. Oh God, little Gundams. Oh my God. Okay. Um, I absolutely take them. I take all of them. I put. I fill them up. Look! Look! Wyatt, look! Yeah, yeah I know. Yeah. I just point to one that's already made and is sat up in the cockpit. <laughs> Wait. It's got legs and a head. Roll, no roll, make a grit roll for me, Wyatt. Uh, and hold on, let me yeah, see, 10, uh, da, da, da. let me just check your invocations. This is the most important thing that you've ever done. <laughs> well, at the, uh, I am an otaku. <laughs> you a no, that's not one of your invocations. Uh, let's see. I think that's what he said. So you, you, you have antisocial as uh, one of your invocations, um, yeah. and that's a negative. But I think in this case, it would be a positive for you. So we'll just leave it. A 10. Uh, yeah, you've got one put together. It's, it's put together. It's not, it's not great. Like, there's, there's some obvious sort of misinterpretations of some of the parts and pieces. But it's it's together. It's it looks kind of like a mech. Wow, that's that's great, Wyatt. Look at this. They even have a they have a baler and they have a the yeah. monarch. This yeah. is great. Yeah, I know. Do you guys want to build them? No, it's, I've never be really been good at like building those kind of things. But I I'm, yeah, you know, I give it a shot. Everything. You'll be great at it. Well, I mean, I, there's things that I haven't done, but I'll probably be good at it. Yeah, sure, why not? Yes. Okay, which one do you want? Uh, tail, Baylor, Monarch, Morning Cloak. Ooh, Monarch sounds cool. Okay, I give him the the Monarch figurine. What about you? Attention, attention! In Resource Facility Three, this is Doctor oh. Prism. Doctor oh, Prism. Uh, attention! Uh, would the following people please make their way to my lab? Uh, Post haste. Uh, Wyatt Slate, Stu Flanagan. Luca Ludomir and Effie. Effie. Fuck is your Brian. last name? Barrett. <laughs> Barrett. Yeah. Effie Cloneman. Yeah. Effie too. Literally, I chose the name <laughs> Effie because she's Clone F. <laughs> I was like, Love that it. sounds great. Please head to my lab. Post haste. Thank you. All right, close the door. Close that. Close that door. Close the door near. Okay. They can't see it. It's one-way glass. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. Well, my hands uh, are full. Luca, close the door. Quickly, yeah, I, I, oh, all right, there, there are cushions in that box, remember? He drops you, a box and then he makes it over to the... You might not be able to see the screen properly, but like you might be able to make like a little thing. You can probably see like a quarter of the screen from there. Really only one person can fit in the cockpit and I climb up and sit in my chair and press buttons and make myself comfortable. Did you want to like, make one of these, Wyatt? It's been... Whoop. No, it's, I just remembered it's been like a year. Uh, one of these little controls... So the buttons back. that you're pushing, what do they typically... What do they do? Um, that one. Pilots with remote controls. I don't want that one. Uh, this one's for the TV. Yeah, that one's for space flicks. And uh, I think this one's for the uh, the chair. Uh, and uh, yeah, no, this, I just want to see a bit before we go and see what the, the OmniNet is disconnected on this. Shit. Oh, there's a new series of One Space, man. I wanted to see it because it's been a year. Well, guess we just better head out then. We're not so building. We back. We're not building the mechs then. Well, you can come back. Well, we could build them later. I mean, we could take it oh, with us. Okay. I mean, this isn't really mine anymore. I can't really go anywhere. I'll get arrested. You know, it's technically all stolen goods now, isn't it? And I ain't going back to work for Star X and that little twat noodle. So, uh, I suppose you can have the code for it. It's nine 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 eight. Well, I, I, I'll just take them so you with just help you. yourself. I'll, I'll you can just, come back, you know. I'll just take them back. cushions in that one. One of these boxes has got locusts in it. What? <laughs> yeah, I found that out the old way last time I did it, and one of them... Uh, uh, I, I found it. <laughs> Are they still alive? 
I got shot. Are you eating them? Oh god. Yeah, they're, they're, <laughs> they're, they're, they're like mecha. They're, they're, yeah, they're, 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 they're mecha locusts. Mecha. They're made out of nanites. Don't. Oh, god. <laughs> they're adorable. Yeah, they're like spy locusts. No, no. All right. Well. I can't even grab them. They're so small. It's to help with farming. It's not food. They're not real. Isn't they like oh. the opposite of helping farms? Don't they eat like crabs? Yeah, that, I think it's to like keep it down. I don't know. I just delivered a box. It's all right. Mecha nanite locusts. I think they're eating my back. How do we turn them off? Yeah, you're gonna. Oh. You're, you're gonna they're gonna eat you. What? Well, he looks like a farm, doesn't he? He's giant. <laughs> So I think there's like 10 minutes that go by with, with you guys trying to find this like emergency remote control to turn off these fucking nanite locusts. Yeah. <laughs> it's like scrambling through boxes and shit. And Luca, Luca's like dry heaving in the corner. Like, I'm like swatting them off of him or at least I'm trying to. Okay, 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 okay. Stu I have like two of my books in my hand just swinging them about. <laughs> Um, and then like, uh, <laughs> and then like another, another message comes up. Excuse me. This is Dr. Prism. Uh, once again, if, uh, please, uh, Wyatt Slate, Sue Flanagan, Luca Ludomir, and Effie, uh, Barrett would please report to my lab, uh, immediately. Thank you. I, okay. We should, we should probably do that, but I'm, I'm, Wyatt, I'm just going to take these box, these, these mechs in this box here? I don't here? care what you take. I paid okay. for the TV myself, though, so that's mine. Okay. I put all the mech things very neatly back in the box, and then I, like, pick up the box to take it with me. Okay. Are, are you going to open the door? I told you to go. I, I have my hands full. I don't want to alarm you guys, but Luca's actually being eaten. <laughs> 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 uh, this is Luca. a cruel irony Still? for him. And it's very uncomfortable. I, there's a couple in, in my waistband. He's gonna I find can't. them forever now. Like Luca. every now and then, he's gonna pull one out of his or out of his clothes. Luca, uh, go ahead and roll me a grit check. Uh, and oh you you have an invocation of uh, unit, unit times two. Thank you. Um, you so you get, so you get an accuracy. Thank you. I don't forget that I have times two. Yeah, so you, you, you get one accuracy. Um, so you, you can actually just... Ooh, okay, so that's a 12. Um, Perfect. All right. Yeah, uh, I think totally just pure luck. As you guys are frantically swatting these nanite locusts, <laughs> right. like, out of the sky with Flanagan's book, he just accidentally finds the remote control by stepping on it. And they just suddenly know. power down. <laughs> Yeah, they just suddenly power down and just fall to the ground. Wow. Yeah. Stu, you are amazing. What? How did you do that? You hit one and then they all fell down. I've had my eyes closed this entire time, just like, ah! <laughs> I don't know what to do. I did it? You oh, saved him. I did it? Oh my God. Well, well, well you are welcome. <laughs> powers. Thank you. Our powers Thank you. extend even to robots. Powers? What powers? Maybe people start buying my books if they knew it would stop nanite locusts. Walk into people's dreams, we can control nanite locusts. Is that work? We eat people. We have to eat people to keep the powers up. There's no end. Do you think that's why he wants us to go back to his yeah. office? Do you think he's going to put us back in those tanks and make us eat more people? He's going to have to put us down, I think. There's no way that beings as strong as us can be allowed to roam free. We... I'm not ready to die yet. I'm only They'll three years old. They'll just make another one of you, though. What? They'll just make another one of you, wouldn't they? Try again. Well, yeah, but there's only one of me. I thought that you were a clone. Well, there's not. We there isn't now. Now, now you've said that, so we know there's not only one of you. Yes, loads of you. But I mean, there's. <laughs> you like there's the only. I mean, there's only one of me with my feelings and my thoughts, right? How do you know? You're not yeah, just some sort of hive mind. Yeah, you might have a hive mind. Like those locusts. You well, are like you... the locusts. I, I, I just want to let you know I'm on your side, but I'm very confused about everything you are. Yeah. Do you ever get an insatiable need to 
Go to farms and eat. No. Mm. Should I? Is that bad? Just trying to work out. Effie's just holding like a <laughs> box of a these, box of mechs. these yeah. mecha. Like, <laughs> and meanwhile, these guys are like. Luca's like shaking out. <laughs> Luca's like <laughs> shaking out like, his pants, okay. and they're just like falling. And these nanite locusts are falling out of his pants. Uh. Okay. Well, I don't know what the heck is going on anymore, but if the doc wants to see us, I'm going to the doc. Yeah. So I can get an explanation yeah. about the dream. Oh, yeah, sure, sure. Yeah. Maybe I'll let us play in the mix again. Oh, that would be, that would be, I would like that. All right. I'd like to play in the mix. I do. I'm going to grab a box of my books. I'm just going to carry that with me on my way out. I totally forgot the signed copies of your book, by the way. And once I saw the max, I was like, yes. And then I just, that's what I got. She actually pushes them out of the way as she <laughs> leaves. Room for the <laughs> Here we go. She just like kicks the box over like, get out of my way. <laughs> and uh, you guys uh, head to Dr. Prism's lab. Before we leave. I yeah. want to look for a carton of cigarettes. Okay. Uh -oh. give, give me a Shit, grit roll. The whole reason I really came here. And turn around and <laughs> an eight. Unfortunately, you find a carton of cigarettes. Ooh. However, it's the wrong kind. Ah, fuck oh. this. <laughs> They're menthols. <laughs> <laughs> uh. All right, I'll take one. <laughs> Because I'm addicted, <laughs> I'll pop it behind my ear. Like, right, if I can't find anything else, I'll have to do. Disgusting. <laughs> I think before we leave, Luca uh, goes out. Uh, Every mm -hmm. catch, and he tosses the orange that was in his pocket. Oh, I have a choice to make. I can't drop the, <laughs> I can't drop the box of Max, so I just let the orange hit me in the face. <laughs> it lands yeah, in the fine. box of Max. Okay, all right. It does hit you, like, smack he down the face. He smiles and goes, I was afraid. We will, uh, we'll work on that. And he waves yeah. and, and uh, leaves. Okay. What, what just happened? Wyatt, what was that? Uh, am I, am uh, I supposed to eat the orange? If you eat the orange, it means that you accept his love. What? If you don't eat the orange, well, then... It means that you have rejected him. And I think out of all the people that you probably don't want to reject in this one place, it's the man that killed him, ate his last wife. And baby. Yeah. <laughs> I'm 100% out of a shot of Luca. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I will just let that paranoia and fear sink in for a minute. And I look yeah, at the I'll orange and it's on, like... I'll tap her on the head. <laughs> he thinks you're hot. <gasps> but that might be the worst possible thing you could ever imagine. I'll walk away from her. Hey, <gasps> Stu, you want this orange? Yeah, sure. <laughs> <laughs> I put my box of books down and grab the orange, peel it real quick. Just leave the leave the leave the peel in here. Just don't get it on the mech. The orange peeler? Do you mean your fingers? Do you have an orange? No, the peel. Peeler? Leave the peel. Oh, orange peel. Yeah, leave I the peel in the. Re re revealed his noble heritage there. Peel <laughs> it with my hands. Don't know who I am. Okay. I'm just that fist of the walrus. <laughs> <laughs> Very skilled at orange peeling. Okay. But all in one piece. So you guys uh, head to Dr. Prism's lab. Um, you see Dr. Prism there. Um, he's uh, doing some work on a computer terminal. Um, it's not difficult to see. It's, it's right near the, the entrance to the, uh, to the lab there. Um, and uh, he says, Ah, there you are. What took so long? Uh, we had a run-in with uh, Nanite Locust. Long story. It's a rather short story. We were actually... Uh, we went to uh, check out uh, the, the spaceship uh, that uh, Boomslang is here. And then uh, we were perusing the boxes, and then I found some locusts. 
Yeah, there were they're... locusts aboard your ship. Not, not anymore, my right? Not my ship. Yeah, it's not my ship either anymore. But whose ship I guess is you it? Just call it. It's a ship, I guess. It was an Rex. Belongs to Star Rex. So it's not your ship. But your kids in trouble. Not anymore, no. Hmm. It's a company vehicle. Yeah, you probably shouldn't have it here. They're probably looking for it. Yeah. You guys technically, you know, so you're in possession of that. So you stole a ship from SpaceX or whatever it was? That's what happened. I got a message 364 days ago saying that I've been let go. Well, that's unfortunate. Yeah. They can't find the tracking device in it, though. I had that taken out like three days after I got it. Oh, you don't have to worry. Tracking devices wouldn't work inside the facility anyway. What? That's good Why to not? Know after we've been kidnapped for a year. Well, it's a Union Science Jeez. Bureau building. It's heavily shielded against such technologies. Huh. So, what did what did you want to see us for? Because I I have these mechs that I'd really like to build. Mm -hmm. Little little mechs, B not real? big, little ones. Yeah, see, they're models. Oh. Look, yes. they even have the monarch. Interesting. Cool, huh? I don't see any Harrison models, though. That's a little bit disappointing. Right. Well, um, I wanted to have you all in here because um, I was notified um, by Polly and Kaz of your, well, of your sudden, um, well, that you passed out in the mess hall yesterday. I was a little worried, and uh, I thought it would be a good idea to see how each of you were doing and run some tests. What kind of tests? Well, uh, reflexes, uh, some brain scans. Do we have to get back in the tube? No, no, no. You won't have to get back in the tube. Oh, you can... thank God. Okay. No, no. We're just going to run some medical scans and uh, make sure that you're all right. I look over at the rest of them to see if... We, I'm kind of like, are we going to tell him or aren't we? Is the look that I'm trying to give. And if I have to roll to see if I successfully do that, I will do so. But I'm trying to be like. I'm trying to I'm, sort of I'm hide not gonna your say anything. Paranoia. I'm not going to say anything unless you guys are going to say something. Are we saying something? Do we trust this guy? You're trying to silently like, communicate? Yes. Okay. Uh, yeah, make a grit roll. Okay. If pilots can't. Yeah, I know, right? That'd be great. Space camped. Space camped. <laughs> okay. That's a two. That's a so two. So as soon as he mentions this, Effie's like, it's like PB trying to have a poker face. <laughs> That's what happens. True. It's just like a, like a, like a, a loud <laughs> exultation immediately. Is, did something? Did one of the locusts get in your mouth? Did something <laughs> happen? <laughs> What happened? No, nothing happened. <laughs> I think she needs a brain scan first. Yeah. What's going on with her? Look, like you let go of the box a little bit, and the mech starts spilling out like onto the floor. Oh no! Not the mechs. No, no. What are you? Are you all right? Yes. yes. Everyone yes, sit I'm down. Fine. Everyone sit down. Yeah, there's something wrong with her. She needs to. Uh... Uh, Effie, let, let me look up. you over here. Uh, let me get you uh, get you scanned yeah. properly. I'm going first. Well, yes, you seem the most. Don't let most, them uh, beat me, Wyatt. <laughs> Please. I don't think. It, yeah, it's okay. We've got backups. We'll just make another go first. one. I, I can go first. Well, she should go first because she's having an actual medical emergency, Luca. <laughs> look at her. Oh, all right, all right, all right. <laughs> you know, I don't want to tell you what to do though. If you kind of go sputtering first, and. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Making loud squeaky noises, um, and uh, yeah, he he does like a scan on you. Um, it's just a sort of quick sort of scan. Um, there's probably like, I'm like a crying <laughs> by this point. Yeah. Oh, no, no, I think I'm no, gonna what, be put down. <laughs> what happened? Are you, are you gonna put me down? Put you down? That's yeah. ridiculous. Okay. Why do I put you said, down? Why it said? <laughs> What did Wyatt say? Wyatt said you were going to put us down. Well, I said, well, I said you were going to put her down because you can make another one. Make a... Oh. What are you talking about? A clone? Yeah. A clone. No. 
We're not you putting know, you down. Did you know she's a clone? Did you know, you know she's a clone though, right? Yeah. I only lived for yes. three years. It's barely what? lived for three years. Yeah, oh, you know, yeah. I well, not hear that. That's you knew that. He, he, he's the one that came to get me. I told yes. you that. Did that technically listen? make her a toddler? Are you using... I'm not a toddler. Reward? Yeah, it so, makes that whole move a bit weird as well, Luke. You only live for three years? No. Can you please explain to me what happened when you passed out? I... had a dream. Can I lie to him or no? You can do whatever you want. <laughs> okay. Um. <clears throat> yeah, I want to lie to him. You had a dream. What kind of a dream? Yeah. Uh, I, I don't know, just like a regular dream. What was it about? I, you know, was at a battlefield. I had my sniper rifle. I, the team needed me, and I shot some dude in the head. You know, standard stuff. Give me a grit check. Oh shit. Now, do you have anything that could help you? A trigger? Stay or? cool. I have stay yeah, cool. Yeah, stay hey. cool. Go ahead and stay cool. 19. 19. Yeah. You, even though you were just kind of So I was actually recalling a dream that I had actually had before. Okay. So at yeah, least absolutely. that is somewhat reasonable. I mean, like, absolutely. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Just a standard a, dream. Interesting. And he, he's mm -hmm. got his data pad and he's just sort of entering in some information. What, 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 what are you writing down? I'm just taking note of the dream that you had. Oh, okay. What if I... A coffee. Would it have been bad what if I match. had a different dream? What do you mean? You know, if I hadn't had a regular dream, would it have been weird? What do you mean a regular dream? You as, know, these are dreams I have all the time. I, I, I don't know. You mean a nightmare? Well, isn't... Yeah, I guess. Well, no, it's just... It's just data. Okay. We're trying to record any issues that may have come up. We are doing tests here, Effie. Okay. Is there something wrong? No. All right. He puts in the information. Well, you you seem in fine health. I'd say, um, obviously with... <laughs> I knew it. I had to double check. I'm pretty sure. I have the guilty for sure. So yeah, I feel terrible for lying to him. So I just start crying. I'm sorry. I'm lying. What is going on? I didn't I didn't have a regular dream. You had a nightmare? I had a nightmare and it was we were it was a war it was a war. I knew this war, didn't I? Yeah. Can I just tell him the the name of the war and like what side I was on? Because I did know all of that info. I just can't remember it right now. And I was like, I was, I was in this big robot, and then Sing with a shotgun came and like shot at me. It's, it's all like rapid fire, like, yeah. like nuclear fast, fucking just rapid. <laughs> you know, like just yeah. a Rap stream shot. of, of incoherent uh, text <sighs> is blasted out from Effie, and Doctor Prism is just staring with <laughs> eyes wide the entire time. Okay. I'm inconsolable <clears throat> at this point, I think. <laughs> like in all sorts of tears. But Lucas still tries. Come here. Aww. Did you all have this dream? Yeah, you said we were different people. Yeah. yeah I wasn't me. Intrigue. Yeah. She may say she is a dreamer, but she's not the only one. Intriguing. I successfully won my combat, whereas they all lost. And was this important to you, Wyatt? I passed the Snickers to Luca. <laughs> Thank <you>. Space Snickers. <laughs> my favorite. Uh, well, I just thought it might be important to you, you know, just if you were trying to measure who was the best. He unwraps it, it's not so sonic. <laughs> <laughs> well, it seems important to you. Well, I don't know if you needed to pick, like, you know, the best of the best, even in the dream world, or whether that's going to affect anything on the tests, or, you know, who knows. Now, the I way that know, you're but... phrasing this, you are able to control things in the dream. Yeah. Hmm. And you felt pain and everything. Well, I didn't, but they probably did. Hmm. True tears nodding. 
All right. I, um, I remember, uh, I'm not sure where I heard it, but probably from, anyway, uh, if you look at your hands when you are in a dream, you can, uh, you have control of it. Looking at your hands? Yes, I remember. I remember the dream started, and I looked down, and I saw uh, my hands resting on, uh, they weren't mine. They weren't my hands. They were somebody else's hands uh, on the, the console. And then, uh, and I look up, and there was a, uh, like, a, uh, someone who, uh, it wasn't a spar or a, or a simulation. These people really wanted to, uh, uh, look like, uh, they really wanted to kill. And, uh, I fell on my face, more like I saw the, 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 the face of the mech, and then uh, that's when I uh, wake up. Hmm. I lost. Intriguing. Dr. Prism is just taking all of the notes in. He's he's furiously, like, typing on his data pad, and um, he says, and this all sort of came about randomly when you were in the mess hall? No. Nah. We were eating. Hmm. I thought it was the uh, nut sauce. I'm sorry, the what? The nut sauce. I thought it was the nut sauce that did it. But Are I, you I allergic know. to nuts? No, I don't think so. Well, then why would it have any effect on your dream? It's the last thing I remember eating, and then all of a sudden... Uh, you, you remember felt... eating nuts? Nut sauce. Yes, what nut I ate. sauce. I thought it was expired nut sauce. sauce. It was nut sauce. Yeah, yeah. It's like when you eat a lot of cheese before you go to bed, you have weird dreams. Yeah, it could. I, that's what I thought it was. That's what I was trying to tell myself. But it yeah, was so weird. We know that nut sauce is made with cheese. I don't know. What's on the bottle? I don't know. I, I don't actually read what's on the label. It's got a lot of cheese in it. Might be having weird cheesy dreams. I just, I, I wanted to believe it was a dream because it felt so real like I wasn't me. And I... Well... I wasn't me. It see like tears just start swelling in Flanagan's Yeah. <laughs> it wasn't me. It was somebody else. The professor hands you like some tissues. Thank you. All right. Um, now, Stu, did this did this bother you being someone else? I mean, of course it did. At, at first, I I thought it was me as is a lady. You were a I, lady. I was a lady. Intriguing. Yes, but you know, thinking about it, I, it definitely wasn't me if I was a lady. If only I could have seen my reflection, I would have absolutely known, but something had told me. Because I wasn't wearing spandex. I, it couldn't have been me as a lady. That was the giveaway. I it was weird. I was in a row with these other mechs, and there was a weird helicopter thing. And, oh, man. And then it exploded our rampart thing. There were death explosions everywhere. I was wearing a navy blue uniform with gold and totally didn't look very good and like just ugh, a color combination. I would have went for like maybe like a red or something but anyways yeah I felt all the pain, the panic, the sweat beating down my neck. I felt everything. It was too real. In a dream usually I try to think of nice things like puppies and ice cream but there were no puppies and ice cream. Just more missiles from the helicopter. Uh, well, Doc, what what about if we try and correlate our dream with the actual battle and see if we can just verify whether we were dreaming an actual stupid thing that we've all made up and it was just some weird thing, or well, we actually went back in time? You think you went back in time? Well, well, well that battle real. did happen. It did? We all had the same kind yeah. of dream about the same battle. Maybe we can find... Does anyone remember the number of their mech they were in or anything like that? Uh, the name? I, Do you have a name play? Can I try to roll? French <clears throat> manicure. Uh, sure. You guys can give me grit rolls. If you if you have anything that might help you remember a trigger... I have historian. 
Um, is that uh, an invocation or a mm -hmm. trigger? Okay. That's an invocation. So you can go ahead and... Hold on, let me check and see if you've got any bad invocations for this. Oh, I rolled. Guilty and gullible. If anything, I believe we went back in time. <laughs> okay, so a 13 from Wyatt... Um, yeah, Wyatt, you remember, um, Wyatt, you were in the Navy uniform? Or were you in the Karakin? Uh, no, the, he was in the, the other trade, one. But yeah, you were in they the Trade Baronies. Yeah, yeah, so yours would have said, um, hey. KDS, um, KDS 00813. Okay. Um, and let's see who else is doing a check here. Uh, 17 from Luca, uh, 20 from Geist, and an 18 from Stu. Um, yeah. Uh, okay. So you all remember. Um, and. Effie, you were in um, a Karakin Trade Baronies mech as well? I was well? in the losing team, whoever lost the, the war. Okay. So your uh, your mech was KDS-8. Uh, okay. Let's say... And I fought the shotgun, dude. Yeah, 0083... Uh, Let's say three, four, six. On the edge of my seat there. Zero, zero, eight, three, four, six. I can see it. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh. Three, three, four, three, four. Zero, zero, eight, three, four. Yeah, I was, was in okay. uh, zero, zero, eight, three, zero, zero, eight, zero, eight, one, three. Okay. And uh, let's see, Stu, um, you were in a, you were in the, the Navy uniform? Yeah, that was the uh, Navy in gold. Okay. So yeah, you would have been in the uh, UN UND dash um, probably like two. We'll say like two eight six one three. Okay. Doc, can you can you is it possible to pull up the mech footage? The mech footage? Yeah. Or records of what happened yeah. on that are, fight. Are we able to? It's usually, possible. It, it's possible that we can try and find this information. However, there might be some discrepancies. I, I, I'll tell you what. Let me look into things. All right. Um, and what about you, Luca? Do you do you remember? And and you do, Luca. Um, Thank God. You were in a you were in a Karakin Trade Baronies uh, mech, right? I had the Navy, I think. Oh, you did have the Navy. Okay. I think. So, um, I'm pretty sure it was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, they've all got the same kind of serial numbers, right? Um, it's a UND one. Yeah, it would be a UND if you were on the on the Navy. I can't remember who was on the Navy and who was on the Karakin Trade Baronies. I didn't write that down, unfortunately. I was in the. Uh, I think it was black and red uniform. Yeah, that you're in the Karakin Trade Baronies. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> um, yeah. So. <laughs> Uh, if you're in the Navy, it would have been UND as well, and then a, and then a, and then a number. Uh, we can we can figure that out and and write it down okay. for you. But they all have the same number, like designations, just a different number. All right. Um, well, uh, I can look into this for you. Um, but for now, um, I believe uh, Polly was uh, looking forward to. Uh, running you through another simulation if you were up for it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm like still swollen eyes and definitely been crying, but now I'm very excited. Yes. All right. Yeah. Something to take my mind off. You know, not being me. All right. Good. Um, why don't you head on over to the mech hangar and uh, Polly will get you set up. And, um, well, hopefully you can have some better luck today. Yes, we we'll luck. try really hard to get A's. Right, right, Wyatt? Yes. I'm ready. Can I, don't I just... I why, but I get a good feeling. <laughs> Can I drop these mechs off first? Um... Me mechs. Yeah, you want to drop drop them off? Yeah, at my room. I want to build them later. 
I, I suppose. Okay. Thank you. I just like scoop them up and leave. Oh, that reminds me. Doctor, this is for you. I hand you a, uh, one of my books and it's signed. 101 ways to seduce your... What is this? It's my book that I authored. Oh, how nice. Just like professor on it, it's not doctor. It's just yeah. the title wrong. <laughs> I thought it was going to be like one of the ones signed to us. I go. <laughs> <Right. I got. laughs> It's like two two doctor priz like P R I Z dash M. <laughs> you really need to think about the branding on your name, Doc. Br- branding on my? Why would I need branding for my name? I'm I'm gone. That was I'm kidding. Sorry. Yeah. All right. Um, my bad. So Effie is gonna drop off Max. Um, mm-hmm. Effie, when you return to the barracks. Uh, mm-hmm. Elise is not there. I don't know if I would think this is weird or not. Nope, I don't think I I don't think I do. Cool. I just dropped my mechs off on my bed. Cool. I will get to you later. And then I head to the to the hangar bay. Okay. And that's a good place for us to take our break. <laughs> Let's take a break. Um and uh we'll come back with some more table story zero blue Orion in a moment. But if you have not done so. Please make sure you follow all these wonderful people. Please um, give them a follow. They're all wonderful, and the uh, follows are free. Go make them happen. And if you want to help support Table Story, one of the best ways you can do that is head on over to the Patreon. Um, head on over to, uh, what is it, tablestory.tv slash pledge for our Patreon. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And uh, join our Discord if you guys are enjoying the show. There's lots of wonderful and hilarious and stupid conversations on our Discord. Um, and we have some really experienced Lancer people that hang out there as well. Um, and they hate us <laughs> in the max right now. Yeah, they hate us so much. Um, Point. <laughs> head on over uh, to our Tiltify link if you want to help support the kids. Go, go give some love to st jude children's research hospital um they do wonderful things for children and they um help prevent uh future diseases and um just several horrible things that can happen to kids so uh, go give them some money make it happen and we'll be back in just a little bit we've got our campaign going on there we've got some rewards such as uh, a crazy day of ragtags or zigzags rather and um we've got uh, a katie peters plays potential uh gm session that could happen there um go go give some money to to the kids go make it happen and we'll be back in just a little bit hang on tight for uh, more table story zero blue orion in just a little bit
Welcome back, everybody, to Table Story Zero Blue Orion. Welcome back. Welcome back. We return as uh, everybody heads on over to the mech hangar. Um, <clears throat> um, you guys head on over to, like, the control center uh, area where the um, simulators are located. Um, and you can see Polly there. Uh, she's playing with Skip. Um, Skip is sort of floating around, and, uh, he's got, like, these, um, uh, I think he's got, like, these, these little side flat panels that are kind of moving around, and, uh, and Polly is, um, she's on, like, a data pad, um, and she's got some kind of, like, uh, altered reality kind of setup thing that's going on with Skip. Um, they're sort of, like, playing some kind of game or something. And she she hits like a button on the data pad, and you hear like a monster sort of growl. And she says, "Get out of the way, Skip! Look out!" <coughs> oh no, Skip! You have to try harder than that. Oh, there you are. How's everybody feeling? A little bit better than yesterday, maybe. Excited. We're Very excited. Doing pretty good. It's ready for that simulation. Yes, this time we'll get an A. Okay, Absolutely. good. I, I like the intensity. <laughs> intensity. You guys can probably do it this time. Yeah, I think so. We're not going to do it on... Uh, we're going to do the hard difficulty, are we? Well, that was going to be my next question. What difficulty did you want to do it on? Uh, yeah. We have to do it on hard difficulty. Does, it, does an A on difficulty the same as an A on easy? That's, I mean, that's how I'm thinking about it, because when I went to high school, I just took all the easy classes and I got A's, like pottery class, easy A. Easy. Pottery class was an easy A for you? Yeah, I mean, it was just a lump of, you know, stuff that you had made into a shape. I always just made it into a bowl, and I always got an A. Polly's just kind of, like, staring at you. Yes? Something on my face? Uh, give me a grit check, please. Oop. Hold up a second. My mouse just died. No! <laughs> give me one second. 
thou chest nice. That's Tower automatically on F. Um, I'm sorry. You I'm don't enamored see him with actually the... crushing a wall in, in frustration. Look at the painting oh, behind him. Is that a walrus? Yeah. Yeah, that's a walrus in a I in love a it. in an admiral's outfit. That's <laughs> <laughs> perfect. So he gets an F. Uh, okay. Grade decided. Um, and Polly just kind of like uh, looks at the rest of you. So you're thinking hard again or no? Yeah, because that's the way we get into real max, right? Well, it doesn't we, hurt. We have to get an A on hard mode. Well, yeah, that we can be do the it. easiest way. There we go. Yeah, A, A on hard mode would be the easiest way. Yes. All right. Still need that grit check? Nah, don't worry about it. Alrighty. That's how we get out of grit checks? Yeah. <laughs> oh, no, darn. My, why, oh, my, my headphones are broken. <laughs> That's the way how you get out of any role-playing role is you break Whoopsie. something. Well, look at that. I, my glass Technical are... difficulties. Sorry, I just spilled water all over my camera. Spend a few hundred dollars on some new glasses so I don't have to make this roll. Whoops, the camera's gone. Sorry. <laughs> Oh, fixed it. <laughs> you need that grit roll? Okay, so hard again? I look yeah. to everybody yeah. else, but I'm, my eyes are brimming with excitement. I can do harm. Oh, also, where's Elisa? Is oh. she not doing this with you? I, I don't know. I haven't seen her. Maybe huh. she has cold feet. She did explode the last time. Well, I don't know if she knew what was happening, because we were called into the office, but he didn't call her. Oh, well, that's I mean. weird. Maybe she already right? spoke to Dr. Prism. Yeah, maybe. Hmm. Huh. Okay. Well, um, all right. So are we doing hard again or no? Yes. I don't care. No all one's right. going to say anything, then yes, I will. <laughs> Just Well, Luca, Luca's all about it, but. Mm -hmm. It's like dead silence, maybe, except no. for Effie's enthusiastic. <laughs> yes. Okay, so um, let's hop in. Why don't you turn on your simulators and, and get inside? Oh, I don't even hesitate. I go, I'm ready. I'm ready. Boot it up. Okay, turning everything on. Communications active. Can you all hear me okay? Yeah. Read you loud and clear. Okay, good. All right, so hard difficulty. Let's give you a sit rep. So the simulation today is going to be in the jungle. You will be escorting a convoy. Your goal is to get the convoy uh, across the bridge to, to a destination warehouse. You must make sure that the convoy arrives securely and safely. It needs to be able to travel. You have to watch out though, there's a lot of raiders and things that can happen on convoy runs. So do your best. Okay. Alright. Uh, just an escort mission, this should be, I mean, it should be easier than the last one we had. Well, I'll bring you on over to the jungle map, and then once we get there, you can position yourselves around the convoy how you like before the, uh, well, before the trouble begins. And let's bring you over. You guys can position yourself, uh, how you like around the convoy. Oh my god. I'm now approaching. Numbani. <clears throat> Go. Yeah, and anywhere before the bridge is, uh, yeah, before that spot, Red Panda and Flame. And, and uh, why is your Reversed. name not changed? Wait a minute. Oh, wait yeah. a minute. Switch that. Um, so, wait, how big is this convoy compared to us? Uh, so it's it's about the size of like a, a semi truck, uh, like so an if eighteen I were wheeler. To get on kind it, of... I would crush it. Would you or like to I try it? I'm trying to do a Reinhardt maneuver? Yeah. Yeah, that's or exactly. Bastion. <laughs> that's exactly what's right. happening right now. <laughs> get um, on the point. 
<laughs> yeah, get on the point. That's exactly <laughs> what I would I'll like be Bastion. To. But I don't want right. to, like, I, I would like to, if it looks like I can do it, then I'll try. But if I feel like I'm going to crush it, I would really rather not, because she did say it has to stay safe. But I don't know how big we are compared to it. Okay, uh, let's see what I can make you roll for that. Uh, <laughs> ooh, give me an engineering roll. Okay. On your frame page. A two. Oh no, that you you accidentally hit it twice. You got a oh, five sorry. and a two. Okay. Um, yeah, you could definitely get on board. No problem. Oh fuck. Okay. Um, then yeah, I'm gonna try it. Sure. Okay. Uh, Effie, you climb aboard this uh, convoy. Mm-hmm. The, the thing's on, like, hover pads, um, and as you start to climb up, there's this, like, horrible crunching noise. Oh, oh, oh. Just, just, oh, oh. like... Oh, no. What, what are you doing? Oh, no! Oh, uh... <laughs> Like... The back of the convoy starts, like... <laughs> uh, and we're gonna take some HP off of this. Oh, no! <laughs> Roll me a 1d6, please, Effie. Oh, no! I'm so sorry. What the fuck's um, going on back there? Immediately failed. <laughs> I thought I could get on top of it, and and I was wrong. That's Why do you want to get on top of it? Well, because I I have a cloaking device, so I was gonna cloak both me and the convoy. The thought was there. Well, that didn't work. No. Well, that's not how you know, is it? So your sit rep is that um in the I area. I the self destruct. <laughs> do you really? I'm really tempted to because I want to restart the mission. I want to do the like pause restart mission oh, thing. Oh, that's. Oh. Just, that's just Are you like, sure? Zero. Okay. Um. Hang on. I do like that idea. I would like to roll a grit to determine whether I initiate the self destruct. Okay. Fifteen. I won't. I won't do it. Yeah, technically, whenever you do a grit check, ten uh, and higher is a is a pass. I went um, for one one to ten. I okay. won't do it. Um, you know we probably failed now, right? Uh, well, I mean, it's it's not over until I don't know that thing, but someone's singing a song, and I'm not singing yet. Are you? Right. I guess it's not extra hard right now. I'm sorry. In like a challenge. Maybe we can rack up some points or something for like. Okay, so. Semester. You're not going to be here all bloody year. Okay, so, um. Well. It, I guess you, you can tell that, um, on your sensors there's several targets. Um, first and foremost, up ahead of you across the bridge, you see a familiar looking target. And you all see the familiar form of a Goliath. Uh, mech on the other side of the bridge start oh, to take God. shape. Perfect. But that's not all. That's not all. There's also an engineer. Shit. And there have been some other targets seen in the area, but you can't see them. Okay. Let's figure out your initiative. And a couple of reminders, just to help you, uh, just to help you out from the last time. A few things that you didn't remember. Uh, each of your mechs has traits. The Everest mech has its own special traits. Um, if you look on your frame panel, you can see that the very first turn the Everest takes in any combat, uh, it can take an extra quick action as a free action. You also mm -hmm. have core systems that you can use once a day. The Everest comes with a hyperspec fuel injector. If you spend your core, you can make an additional full action as a free action, or two quick actions as a free action. So don't forget about these. Okay. All right, who's going first? I am. Uh. Boomslang's going first? Okay. Why do I have... Why do I have a sense of Dijon mustard? I... 
forgotten kind of how to play and um, brad Shocker. doesn't want to go first <laughs> but, luckily we have a handout that says combat yeah so we get uh move and a full action or two actions and one full action or three because we have the first turn thing two quick actions yeah you get you get two quick actions plus action. a move or you get and a full move. action and a move and... and you also have your your mech traits on yeah. on your first turn. You get an extra quick action, and um, you also have your core ability, which will allow you two uh, two quick actions or a full action if you spend it. Is this little thing the engineer? Yep. <laughs> can, I, uh, can I get past that thing? I don't know. What's your speed? No, I don't mean that. I mean... The I Goliath? Like, you wouldn't you be able to take a straight point. route. No. Nope. So what about like this? If you're flying... Oh, I can fly. Hell yeah. I have uh, a question for you, Wack. I'm sorry. I make up 18. And wait, sorry. You can't do double boost or you can? I think this turn only you might be able to. You, you can... So if you look at your frame page... You have a section that says traits, and your initiative trait, the very first turn of the Everest, takes in combat. Yeah, not a quick, not a quick action. The actual boost move. Yeah. Why do I feel like we said you can't you do can't, that? You twice? can't repeat uh, the same quick action. You can't like double, okay. triple boost. You can't do that. Right, you yeah, can. That's all I want. You can, however, use your. Um, you have a what is it called? Uh, overcharge. Mm -hmm. You have overcharge that you can use. Can uh, we uh, go over the mechs? Um, just the narrative or, or what we've have like cause some of them are we've some of us did some modding right and like they're not did. all the same mech right? Yeah, you guys all have slightly different mechs. Um, and like I know uh, what I have. But I don't know what anybody else has. I push. Yeah. Um, nobody's given out any information or anything. That's totally up to you guys. You can do that in character. Um, um, but uh, I put on the screen here for the chat. Um, we do have some some license information. People have started picking licenses and things. We've got that info up there. Um, but I'll bring you back to the map. What were you saying, PB? I think on this turn he can move up to his speed in any direction and then he gets to you also can, boost with his quick action, by, right? I'll do it one by one. You one, two, three, four, five. That's my movement. Okay. Right? Yeah. Yep. Then if I do a boost, I can go another five. Right. Yeah. But you can't one, repeat two, three, the boost. Four, five. But I can't do another boost. Correct. Which is okay. what I want to do. So, Wack, then, is, then does he have like three quick actions left? Because on his so, first turn only he can make an additional full action or two quick actions as free actions so he had, does his regular turn and then he basically gets a free turn uh i think it's one but let me just double check that's if you use the core thing yeah that's what i mean one core power core power is different than trait oh okay you you have traits on okay. the very first turn you can take an extra quick action oh i see okay i see and then your core is you can make an additional full action as a free action or two quick, or two actions, quick actions as a free action. Okay. Yeah. And if you used a core, would you be then able to repeat no. things you've done? Okay. No. Cool. Good to know. Thanks. All right. So my movement and one quick action is done. I still have two quick actions or a full action or not? If, yeah. If my you, initiative yes. counts as my thing, yes. I can still do a full yeah. action. You, you can use your boost for that, yes. Mm. Oh, all right. Let me forgot the most important my, thing. Uh, other bullshit. Mm. Got to bring the visor down in combat. <laughs> mm. Man, yeah, I can't get close enough. It's annoying. All right, well, I just launch ahead. 
and then I will do the barrage attack with two weapons. Okay. Um, so I added all the extra stuff we have, but just for the record, for this, I've taken the, um, the thingy weapons, the new, uh, morning cloak stuff. Okay. Um, so my orcs, oh no, I can't. My orcs, yeah, orcs is just one. Okay, in that case, I've only taken the Vijaya rockets. Okay. Which I would like to fire first. Okay, they've got a range of five. So you could hit the Goliath if you want to try and hit that. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to do. I can't get close enough. I wanted to try and hit this thing, but I can't. Okie doke. Go ahead and uh, do. roll your weapon. Mm-hmm. Uh, the, this is accurate plus one. Is that in the roll? Uh, you know? No, so roll an accuracy as well. It's already a hit, but now Dang it's it. a crit. See, because for a crit in this game, you only yeah. get, have to get over a 20. You don't have to get a natural 20. So as long as you get over a 20, that's a crit. So that is a crit. Roll your damage die again. That's another 1d3. Let's go. Awesome. So five explosive damage as you hit the uh, Goliath mech. Um, you just see it uh, get lit up. Several rockets explode all over this thing, and it's going to take some damage. Very nice. Okay. Is that it for your turn? Nope. I land because I'm flying. When I when I boost, I'm flying. Um, or can I still technically be in the air? Um, Depends on what you're doing. You have firing to land. my shotgun. You have to land at the end of your turn. Um, so I can still be in the air right now? Uh, let me just see the actual wording on your, on your... Because I've got a talent, the, uh, ace talent. Uh, I gotta see the actual text of your... Yeah. Oh, if it has the jump jets, then he has to land. But if it's actually, like, flying, or not a jump Yeah, jet. but it's just on the, on, you must, your mech must end its turn. Are you using your core power right now? Is that what you're doing? Because you need to, to attack again. Oh, never mind. Uh, you have two weapons. No, never mind. You're using I the barrage have, action. Yeah, you're good. You're in the air still. Yep. So this um, would this would also be yeah, with the accuracy. It's not super heavy. Yep. And so yeah, I imagine I'm boosting and I fire all these rockets off, and then as I'm coming down, I pull out a shotgun, and I've got this talent ace, which means I can make agility checks while flying with plus one accuracy. And it says that I'm. So it's not. It's my mech can fly. It's not an. It's not an agility check that you're making. There's an oh, actual okay. agility roll. You're not doing that. All right. So, okay. Yeah, yeah. All right. I get it. Never mind then. So just a straight up shotgun. Yeah, just a shotgun weapon attack. Yep. Yeah. 18. Another hit. Five kinetic damage. I land on this bridge, pull out the uh, the shotgun and just... Pfft, I don't think I have a shotgun sound. Okay. I should get one. Okay, and it's going to take some more damage. Very nice. Hey, nice attack! Yeah, I got a feeling this thing's going to come after me again, so the rest of you need to do something about it. I was going to try and get the little engineer thing. Oh my god, it's moving! <laughs> <laughs> and you hear Polly sort of like cackle uh, as you can see that the uh, Goliath mech does not move first. Uh, Instead, it's going to be the engineer. Engineer is going to go next. Okay. Can't we get faster, Max Polly? Wait till you see what this guy can do. And the mech, uh, this uh, engineer spider mech, this drone spider mech is going to move. Uh, gets to move three. Whoops. It's going to immobilize me, you watch. I know, I'm so paranoid. This is going to be at the start of every combat. I'm going to be just sat here being paranoid. It's going yeah. to move here, and it's going to deploy a turret. Oh, my God. Got a Torb and a Rhine.
turret gets deployed here. Hopefully, please work. Please roll 20, please. That's not the right icon. Wonderful. Let me get this from the other screen. Uh, uh -huh. Did not save that properly. Okay, there we go. Let's do that. And then let's bring it over. Okay. Turret gets deployed here. This thing's about, uh, it's half size, but uh, in this game you round up for the half size. Um, and uh, da, 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 does it get to attack? It attacks on the engineer's turn. Yes. Okay. Uh, da, da, da. And it gets to attack with a plus one. Uh, let me just check the range here. It might be out of range of you. Oh, yeah, it's good. Oh, it's got range 10. Yeah, it's fine. Uh, okay. This thing's going to aim at you, Boom Slang, once it gets deployed. Oh, that's a miss. The first miss for me. <laughs> oh, no. I'm a quick study. And let's see. Uh, we've got another quick action that we can do. Do I get to deploy multiples? Oh, yeah, I do. Yeah, I do. Another turret is going to get deployed. Gross. Right here. And it is also in range. It's going to attack you as well. Boom slang. That's another miss. Oh, man. As uh, Polly misses with both of her shots. It is now one of your turns. Who's going next? I have a question about the convoy, sorry, real quick. Does it just move, or are we in control of it, or what? The what? The convoy? The convoy, the convoy is going to move on its own. But you guys get it, to decide what turn it forward moves. And we can't stop it or anything? Correct. I mean, okay. you might be able to. Right. You know, we can. <laughs> we, we can somehow, and we will find out how. Luca can, he just has to get out and hold it with one finger. That's it. <laughs> That's it. Okay, who's going next? Well, oh. you should back up. And let them come to us. Well, I'm going to move forward. I have a good feeling about this. <laughs> She's just trying to be strategic. And we're not listening. Okay. <laughs> Looks like Rashman's going next. Okay, let's see. What are you doing, Rash Man? I'm gonna move within range. So let's see here. I want to use my super heavy weapon. How do I measure the distance? So Where's there's a, a circle with a ruler in it on the toolbar. Ah, I see. Oh, excellent. And my range. Yep, I'm good. Okay. So that, I want to pull the big guns out first. I'm going to use my cyclone pulse rifle. No, we need good. we need better jungle music. Let's put on. Can we discuss stuff? Yeah. Yeah. In, in as in yeah. character. Yep. Yeah. Go for it. We should stay split up. Last time it was wiping us out because we were all clumped up. I agree. That's why I'm moving forward and staying yeah. away from the convoy. Okay, but uh, next time I should lock on the target first so that you can do a better job. Just for next time. Okay, I got yeah, a, I got a good feeling would have been about this. For the beginning. I got a really good feeling about this. I don't know what it is. It's just something. I got a good feeling. O okay. Come on, Rash Man, take your shot. You can do it. All right, let's see. He's Come wiring on. money to whack Stephen, by the way. That's what his good feeling is. He's just wired $100 <laughs> to whack. <laughs> <laughs> Don't talk about that. All of my attacks seem to have an extra plus 40 D20 for some reason. It's really weird. One hit kill everything. <laughs> All right. I will 
first level. Oh! Not bad. Very nice. Okay. So that is an accurate weapon. You also get to uh, make a an accuracy roll. Excellent. All right. Let's Do see. a one accuracy. Okay, that takes you to 22. That is a crit. Go ahead and roll your damage dice again. So go ahead and roll another 3d6. That is a ridiculous shot. Three, Flanagan six, was not joking. Oh my, oh my god! <laughs> what is going on? I told you I had a good feeling! So you see this massive shot from the pulse rifle. Boom! Um, just erupt from, uh, from Flanagan. Holy shit. How do you destroy the Goliath? I want to take a quick look at the book that I have just hanging up right next to me. It's like, I know who I am. I gotta believe in myself. What that weird dream was. I don't know what that was about, but I'm back in it to win it. I know who I am. Let's do this, baby! And I just fire it straight into the uh, the heart of where maybe the heart would be. <laughs> okay. The mech just, you see it like, you see the pulse rifle just hit it dead center. Um, smack dab. And it, it hits this thing. And you see the Goliath like recoil a bit as it starts to, it tries to like reorient itself for a minute. But the pulse rifle is just still like pulsing out energy. And it just has this like rippling effect. You see the metal just start to melt. Like, and there's this divot that starts to form and eat out through the center of the mech, and it just spreads out, leaving this giant hole right through the center of the mech, melting and <laughs> slagging the metal right through the center, and it just... Man, uh, this is your first turn, so you still have a quick action if you want to take it. Oh, sweet. Uh, hmm. What can I do? Uh, you know, I'm gonna I want to search around and see if I can find any other targets in and around the area. Okay, excellent choice. Uh, so. So this would be a quick tech. Uh, mm -mm -mm. This is going to be with your... I believe this is a tech attack. You're going to scan. Uh, 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 uh. Information about the target. Oh, no, wait. You can search, right? Let me just see. Pilot actions. That's a search. I think that's a pilot. Yeah, yeah that's a pilot action. Okay. No, you can search. Basic quick action. Yeah, you can search. Absolutely. Um, okay, so this is going to be... Uh, I, you know what? I had a... There's a specific list. Let me just check and make sure that you're rolling the right thing here. Uh, da -da -da. Where is it? Lancer... Sorry, I have, a, I have like a cheat sheet I'm trying to find make sure that it's the right action. Uh, Lancer Combat. There we go. Okay. Search. Uh, do, do, do. Systems. Make a systems check, please. Alrighty. Ah! That's a two! <laughs> Unfortunately, you push the wrong button in the cockpit. Uh, I think you deploy. Uh, there's some kind of uh, there's some kind of like coolant system that gets activated in the cockpit, and it's just blowing like all this cold air in there. Oh God! Wrong button! Oh, it's so cold! It's so cold! What happened? Ah! Oh! 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 He's in the locus. He's in the locus. He's in the locus. He's so cool. He didn't get a move. He didn't get a 
sorry, I'm sorry. Yes, your bulge is not so much a bulge anymore. Uh, who's, uh, let's see, going next. Um, that's it for Rashman's turn. Unless you're using your core ability. No. Okay. Gonna... Uh, let's see. Next up, uh, Polly's going to get to go. She's going to say, Okay, you may have gotten the Goliath, but that's not it. There's more. And we're going to get... Uh, da, da, da. A moment of truth. Nearby. From Polly. <laughs> Polly unlocks her moment of truth. Not quite. Uh, no! I love that song. That's gonna get. <laughs> <laughs> it's like your, your pterodactyl noise, Brad. That was what it was, exactly. Okay. Um... So, Polly's going to go. You guys can see, uh, hiding behind some of the brush, there is a uh, mech nearby. Um, right nearby you guys. And let's see what it gets to do. Do it. Do it. Would you call it a deus mech machina? Nailed so, as I would. Makes one of us. Mm. <laughs> Would you call it a fish on a Tuesday? Because I would. The uh, drone striker cataphract is going to rush up and fucking attack you. Don't worry, guys. Let's go cataracts. He won't be able to shoot straight. I'll be fine. Okay. Uh, it activates the ram cannon. And we'll right, head for you, I guys. <laughs> <laughs> it heads to you, guys, and we'll uh, try and hit you with the ram cannon. Let's see here. Uh, this is going to be one accuracy. And it does not get a bonus on this roll. Just the accuracy. So 1d20. Oh, I don't need the accuracy. That's oh, a crit no. anyway. Moment of truth. Moment of truth. The Plus cataract. another five. The of I told you it was coming. I Are you able to do like a reaction or anything? I mean, you can yell in dismay. <laughs> Yeah, that's it. Your it's a free action. Is to do, die. What is? Do you have? A, do you have anything <laughs> that is a reaction ability? Uh, where would it be if it was? You would have to have a specific weapon or a talent that would give you something like that. But otherwise, okay. you don't have a, a, a general reaction that you can do. Because it says, like, when you brace your mech, can immediately move its speed as a reaction. But yeah, I don't but know you, you, have, you have to, you to have a reaction. You have to do that on your turn. Braces, you braces brace, a so quick oh, action. Oh, I see, I see. Okay. Yeah. Um, okay. okay. Cool. So, uh, you are hit by the fucking ram cannon. And uh, 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 this is for five kinetic damage. Do I get a damage roll? There's no damage roll. Oh, wait, actually, Bryce. Reduces damage, but at the cost of your next turn's actions. So does she get to do a brace, reduce the damage, and then and, it, and then and pay for it later? Uh, yeah. Oh, so she can brace. Well, the brace is a quick action, though. Oh, it is a reaction. She can do yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so yeah, you can sacrifice your next turn, basically, and have the damage. I thought you had to prepare to brace, because you do the thing... Because I looked at it. Because I thought I was going to get messed up, so I was trying to figure out how I can, like, turtle up for the turn and then jump gotcha. over the next time. Gotcha, gotcha. Yeah. yeah, brace. Yeah, brace is a reaction. So brace okay. your mech for impact, reducing damage at the cost of your next turn's actions. So you, you sacrifice your next turn to do it if you want. Okay. Um. It'll be half damage. Sure. Okay, so... This thing doesn't do damage dice. It just gets five straight damage for its damage. Okay. Um, so it's going to double that. So it's 10, and you're uh, having the damage because you're braced. So it's five. Mm -hmm. You take five. Okay. Gotcha! Ah! Shit! Is everything all right, Magnet? What's going on? 
so that's <laughs> so that's uh that's a quick action there, and then. Why didn't that one show up on the scanners, by the way? I was looking for the scanner, but I think I found the AC. We have scanners. Yes. So, uh, on. Let's see. Quick action. Next quick action. Yeah, it's gonna get another quick action here. It gets to do the same shit you guys do, uh, basically. NPC. NPC, NPC, NPC. Okay. On the NPC's turn. actions okay uh yeah so it's basically gonna do a it's gonna invade you geist at least it's gonna try to um let's see it gets to roll a d20 and this is versus your e defense okay that's 11 versus your e defense Whoa, I'm sorry. Yeah, it's eight. So yeah. Uh oh. Okay, you are gonna take three heat damage. Okay. Which is the red bar on your mech. So if you click on your mech, you can click in the little red circle and do minus three. And at the Wait, end of on the, the cataf- icon? Yeah, or on your on your sheet? token. Oh, on your okay, token. Okay. And on the end of its turn, it also has some more bullshit. It has capacitor discharge. Nothing happens when I click on my icon. I'm sorry. Yeah, that's a personal problem. Uh, at the end of the Cataphract's turn, our oh, characters that is adjacent to takes two extra heat damage. So you take another two heat damage. Okay. Are you able um, to control I, your... I'm, are you able to control your token? I, I am now, sorry. And it's the red one, and it goes down how much? Five total now. Five total, okay. Yeah. And there's nothing, like, my brace didn't half this damage either. Good question. Does brace yeah. have... Oh, yeah, it takes half. Okay. Yeah. So we'll so. round down, okay? okay? But this goes for everybody. So damage you guys do as well as damage I got, I do is going to get okay. rounded down if we're having. So it was five okay. total, so we're going to say you take two heat damage. Two heat okay. damage. Okay. Uh, okay. Sorry, let me add this guy. Okay. I think that update. Don't know. I feel like I these are trying to update pilot, it. It's these are pilot errors. That. Uh, <laughs> okay. Yeah. Which one of you guys is going next? Sorry, whack. I can't. It won't. I'll uh, fix it. I don't worry. Oh, okay. Okay. I just didn't want to sit there with full health. Gotcha. Little okay. toasty in there. Oh my god. Who's Best. going next? I'll go. Uh, has the has the thing moved yet? The payload move? Convoy has not moved. It's going to get a turn in in your guys' action. Okay, in our action. Uh, or, or in the round, I should say. Could we elect for that to go then? If you want, do you guys want it to move now? I would like to see how how it handles before I do my turn. Up to you. Is that what the group's voting for? Three. No, Two. because he stood in the way of it. Oh, yeah, that's true. <laughs> I'm scared um, he's just going to drive into the back of you and be like, well, be like, that's the end of its turn. <laughs> <laughs> like, no. So, no, it's not going? Yeah, 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 right. it okay, it's not going. Yeah, I'll, uh... Guys, yeah, so we've got a bunch of turrets. Uh, okay. I will... Luca... Luca's still a little confused about the dream and also uh, the pep talk before this mission, which was do better. Though he did the best last time, he's still going to do better by not doing what he did last time, which was charge. Though everybody else is now charging, he's going to do exactly probably what looks like to be something Luca wouldn't usually do. And that is going to be jump to here. And then I want to... Could you tell me about how the under parts of this bridge the undercarriage of this bridge yeah is, it's, a, is a, it's 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 like a uh, a sort of crumbling arch 
right? So like parts of the foundation are, or is it several arches? It's one arch. Okay. Yeah. Uh, it's not that big, so yeah. Could Luca make it across, but under the bridge? You can go under the bridge if you want. It's up All to right. you. I mean, you have to check your movement and stuff. Yeah, uh, Luke is going to uh, approach, but from under the bridge. Now, uh, are you using turrets. are you using jump jets or are you going in the water? Uh, he will jump jet. You have jump jets? Okay. Yeah. Yes, yes, he has jump jets. Uh, so, uh, Luca's. Uh, and uh, it's it's it it. He's attempting to be sneaky, but it's not at all. Uh, he's just actually using it just for cover because of those turrets. But okay. He, uh, he will try to at least leap over. Uh, my movement, I think, is four, so I don't even know if I can even at all. Uh, can so you can move with four, right? Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. then you get you get. Uh, is that four where you are now? Uh, from where I moved, yeah, yeah, I moved from the center. In yeah, front this of is it. four. Yeah. Yep. Okay, so you move there, and then uh, you can use a quick action to boost if you want to boost. Uh, yeah, that'll be another four. Okay, so you can move like four. here if you want to do that. Mm, yeah. Okay, I'll do that. Uh, Luca, I guess uh, just he I jumped there and then with another huge leap, not as far uh, that he hoped, but lands uh, right in the water. Okay, awesome. Have your token. Okay, good. All right. All right. So I was waiting for like, ah, you've shortened die. All right. Uh... <laughs> okay. Under. You move there. All righty. Let's uh, actually move this. Is there too. an under the bridge status? Uh... Red Hot Chili Peppers start playing. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, are you doing anything else? That's it. You still have two quick actions that can't be boosts if you want to use them. Or you have one quick action, sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, I will, it can't. Well, actually, no, you have two quick actions because this is your first turn. But it can't be boost. Correct, you I'll, can't uh, do, I'll hide. you can't do a second boost. You're gonna hide? Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, awesome. Uh, let me just check on a hide. Now we're gonna test out all these mechanics. Yep, yeah, you're good. It, they have to make a roll to see you. Okay. Right. And so I am sloshing in the river. I hope somebody has eyes on that convoy, because I'm under the bridge. Don't tell anybody. Okay. <laughs> Where did he go? Where's he gone? I'm under the bridge. I'm under the bridge. Why are you under the bridge? Because I want to get there without shooting. I don't want to There's something stop. attacking. There's something How attacking the convoy. Did you know he's attacking the convoy? How did you get under the bridge? How are you under the bridge? Okay, sorry. I'll get back out of the bridge. I feel like one minute he was like stood there and then we turned around and he was just gone. <laughs> We're like, where are you? Under the bridge? Oh, cool. Oh, it looks like it's unfortunate <laughs> that you left something alone. Big mistake. Doing better doesn't mean doing different. Why didn't you just... Yeah. No, you should always do what you did last time, every time. But, but, but he said, he, he said do better and everybody was like, okay, we'll try better. So I'm not doing it. I'm trying something, something else. Uh, I think they just meant win. You know you're supposed to protect the convoy, right? And as uh -oh. Polly says that, you see right. another, uh, right. you see another, uh, drone cataract, a cataphract, uh, come out of the brush from north of the convoy, and it will oh, head for Perfect. the convoy and try to ram cannon the convoy. It's fine, guys. That's another hit. Uh, so where is it? The cataphract is north of the convoy. Kill, 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 kill. Sorry, which one was it that's doing it? Right here. Ah, what? Ah, so I I don't think I can do this technically, but just so I know how reactions work, um, there is a reaction that's like Overwatch that would allow you, if something's moving nearby, you can actually try to attack it. So Overwatch is based on the weapons. Um, weapons oh, should okay. have a threat range. The threat range is where your Overwatch uh, range is. Holy shit. That is awesome. Yeah. Uh, so then basically, like, if mine is five, then it would absolutely be in range. Yeah, it would have went off. Absolutely. Yeah, okay. Cool. However, 
You took the brace action. Yeah, no, I know, I know. It didn't oh, apply. I just wanted to know mechanic-wise. Yeah. If okay. we're very, very lucky, Luca is the convoy we need to escort. <laughs> and he's super safe now. <laughs> Not quite. Uh, it was so the, Luca, my most precious son, said Dr. Prism. So the <laughs> convoy, uh, so 15 is a hit. And then I also have to roll for accuracy. Let's do the accuracy roll here. Oh shit, wank. I have a move here called Funk You Wank, and it means uh, we it's, all get to have it's a quick not go. Over, it's not over nah. a 20, so you got nah. lucky. Uh, yeah. But it does take five damage. You just hear the ram cannon of this thing rush forward and pierce the side of the convoy. The call convoy is rattled. And, um. Probably guys kicking the convoy again. Then the. <laughs> the drone striker, uh, Cataphract, Cataphract, will go ahead and do another invade. That's a fail. Um, and it will uh, end its turn, and this thing. Hold on. I gotta see what the range is on this. Capacitor discharge. Okay. Yep, the convoy's gonna take some heat damage as well. You can see the, uh, basically this thing like air its exhaust right out towards the convoy and you see part of the convoy glow bright red as it's gonna take two heat damage. Okay. Oh, you gotta watch out for attacks from behind. Everybody rush forward. You gotta protect the convoy, guys. And uh, yeah, that's it for the cataphract's turn. Who's going I've next? I've always been the convoy before. I'll go next, but I don't do anything. But I think I'm the last one. Everybody yeah, else you. Is gone. You um. Let's see. Uh, Geist. Yep, you were the last one. The Goliath is gone, and okay, the convoy so... gets to go. I think I can still, I can't take reactions, um, and I can make one quick action. Uh, I gotta check and see what the actual text is for the brace. What does it say for brace? No, it just says at the cost of your next turn's actions, so you can't make any actions, unfortunately. Oh, I thought, uh, okay. You have the initiative, but you basically sacrificed it to do the brace. I don't know. Oh, uh, if you choose to brace, you gain resistance to all damage, heat, and burn from the triggering attack. It's halved rounding up, and all other attacks against you are made at a plus one difficulty until the end of your next turn. However, the stress of bracing means until the end of your next turn, you cannot make reactions, and on that turn, you can only make one quick action. No regular move, no full actions, no free actions, and no overcharge. Okay. So yeah, you can make one quick action, apparently. And I don't think I should have taken that heat damage. We'll take it, but just so, because we're learning, right? So you took half. I, I gave you half. I, uh, you gain resistance to all damage, heat, and burn, right? Resistance is half. Oh, right, right, right. Okay. Um, okay. So quick actions. Oh, good Lord. Um, I can boost though, right? You can boost. Okay. Um, in the book, Whack, there are like brief versions and then more in depth versions of mm -hmm. like all of the things, I think. Yeah, I just, well, there's only so much I can do when we're doing the stream. I'm just trying to be I fast. I think the quick ones are the ones that are in the uh, Roll20. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay. Um, okay, so I'm I'm going to... A lot of this, I'm going to depend on you guys to read yeah. this stuff before we get to your turn. So when we're when All it's right, not your turn, minute. like now, try and read stuff ahead of time. Because I can't read everything. We can attack three times on PB's one quick action. Because it says that underneath Bryce. What? No, he's just. It says being underneath bullshit. Bryce. Don't listen to him. We can this all. To everyone gets troll. two full <laughs> actions okay. and a movement. Okay. Um, I'm going to try to attack with a weapon, which is skirmish. A, yeah, that that's the one. Okay. okay. Um. What weapon? I'm gonna use my big one. You're gonna use the cyclone pulse rifle at close Actually, range. I am. Yes, okay. I am. <laughs> um. Let's see. I can't move this so that I can also see. There's someone else here too, right? There's two of them. 
Uh, yeah, there's two cataphracts. One right yeah. next to the convoy um, and one next to you. Yeah, I'll use I'll use the, the heavy mount. Um, and I have talents. Do I use talents for these or triggers? I'm sorry, I'm talents. still Talents, triggers, or pilot stuff. Okay. Um, That's why they put them on the pilot page. Okay. So then, I see. All right, all right. Then what the hell is the take someone out then? What's that good for? If you what? don't use it when you're in your mech. Like I have a trigger that says take someone out. Yeah, if you're attacking a base as your pilot. Oh, okay. What happens if you can't get I in with your mech? Okay, okay, okay. Um, okay. That's like that's like the fucking solid snake maneuver, you know? They like yeah, run up okay. and somebody choke, rear, rear naked choke somebody out. All right. Uh, yeah, I will use this thingy. I'm sorry, do I just press this one? Yes, okay. Yes, yeah, so you just push the weapon. Okay. Jesus Christ, a 17 attack at close range. I got to see. Close range, do you get like a... I don't think there's a negative, is there? I don't think so, <laughs> but I, I don't, don't know if Effie knows that. I don't, think so I think you think get, I don't know if you get a anyway. difficulty or not for that. What does accurate do at close well, range? Anything? Cause... Yeah, accurate... Uh, let's check the tags here. Because accurate uh, is with accuracy, so you get to roll accuracy, but let me just check that you don't get a difficulty at, like, melee this range. This gun is unbelievably broken, and we should all take one. It just It's only because it's you loaded. Have to re yeah, you, have you have to reload, reload. it. Well, if I we don't all think take it, holds... everything will just die on one hit, and then we never need to reload, because we've won <laughs> in the first round of every game. This is also what me nice. going ridiculously easy 15. on you guys to start. Yeah. Um, also, you there's can like try hacking and not mechs. get us all to take this gun next time, but we're all taking this gun next time just to test the theory. Because I'm convinced if we all have this, we'll just win. But you get really wrecked if you get hacked. And if you miss. Yeah. yeah you can. Well, miss. you still have reliable. You, you get you, you get five true. damage no matter what. Um, okay, true. so let's see here. Okay. Uh, da, 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 wrong thing. Gear tags. Uh, Guns. Cyclone launcher. Oh, so if I roll my accuracy, then I could potentially make this a critical hit. You could potentially, yeah. More. But I just got to see if you're in melee yeah, no range with a ranged weapon. I want to say you get a difficulty. Um, Can so chat I think help they, us out? I think they, I think they cancel each other no out. Penalty, but I don't know. Chat says there's no penalty. I don't know if I don't know. There's no penalty. Help us. Yeah, she's engaged. They're right next to each other. Yeah, you get a difficulty. Yeah, so it's, okay. it's, it evens each other out. It's still a 17. Okay. It's still yeah, really it's still good. good. And you rolled, I think, max damage? No. Uh, yeah. No, you no, didn't. 13. Uh, 13. Yeah, max is an 18 on that. Okay, so 13 damage is fantastic. Uh, 13 damage um, on this guy. Uh, yeah, you beat its evade. Okay, yeah, so you, you totally blast this thing. The, whole, the fucking Cyclone Pulse Rifle powers up for like a hot second and just <laughs> fires. You see huge chunks of metal just melting off this thing as uh, you score a, a good solid hit. It's still up. Oh, shit. Okay, that's all I can do, though. That is all you can do. The convoy will now go. The convoy will move. Oops. Super fast. Across the bridge. Three Damn. hexes. And then three hexes. There. Um, it is hovering, so it is uh, flying above you, Rashman. Just barely. And that's it for this round. Now, because you ended with a uh, friendly NPC going last, we start with the enemy's turn. One of the enemies gets to go first. Judging from the position, I think the best person to go first is gonna be the one in the back here. The cataphract's gonna go first. So we've learned not to let the convoy go last. <laughs> uh, so, the cataphract is going to go first. Let's see here. Uh, where's this guy? This one. Okay. And, uh, yeah, it's going to attack you, Effie. Um, okay. And let's see how much... Uh, 
with a ram cannon. And this is a D20 with one accuracy. Ooh, that is a miss. No way I can hit. Nope. The ram cannon misses. Um, and it will try and invade. So this is versus your um, Which e is defense. Eight. Mm -hmm. That's another miss. Whew. And it ends its turn right next to you. Now, uh, you're no longer bracing. Um, okay. So you're going to take two heat damage. Okay. And that's it. Oh, I can it. just edit this on my sheet as well. And then the icon updates. Okay. By the way. Okay. All right. Okay. Which one of you is going next? A little hot in there, Geist. Doesn't Geist need to go next? Geist does not have to go next. Any of you can go next. This is a new oh, round. I said that you wanted to do a thing. Oh, am I allowed to just switch turn order like you that? You are. And just go whenever. Oh, as soon okay. as the next round starts, you guys can switch the turn order. Um. Yeah. I mean. Uh. Yes. I would like to go then. <laughs> okay. Um. Can I? Oh, this is so clunky. Sorry, fam. I would like to deploy one of my smoke bombs. Can I do Ooh. that now? Smoke bombs. Yes. Okay. You want to tell us what that does? Yes. Um, the blast area grants soft cover to all characters and objects inside. Lasts until the end of your next turn, then disperses. Very nice. I think that just makes it a, a diff. You get a difficulty oh, to a hit minute. against you. There are two different types. I also have a shroud mine. Hold on, sorry. And I. Okay, yeah. No, this doesn't work because I don't have anybody next to me. Wow, that's super cool, though. I'll use that next time. Um, yeah, so I'd like to just and then go this depart. Blast two. Okay, are you throwing it at your feet? Um, the way that it reads, it makes it Blast sound two. like it's good for the convoy and not getting hit. And not like a, a range of two hexes. So you've got to pick two hexes to smoke out, I think. Is that right? It's it's basically it's it's a two it's a two um what does it say? Two blast or two burst? Ooh sorry. Uh range five blast two. Blast two. Okay, blast uh, is an area of with the radius of X spaces from a target. So it it's expands out from a target. Okay. Burst is um, around you. Okay, so I can fire this at the convoy then. Yeah, you can launch it yep. at the convoy. It's got a range okay. of five though, so it won't okay. uh, it won't it won't quite hit. Yeah, it won't quite hit. Okay. Um, in that case, so you'd have to move if you want to do it first. Okay. I will do that then. I will move. Okay. Just remember, they do have you know. their own Overwatch. Uh, uh, yeah. You are you are engaged with them. Yep. With both of them. Yep. Fuck. Okay. Um. They have a they have a threat range, and it's not one. Yeah, okay. I'm I'm going to uh, deploy my Jericho then behind me. My little, like, thing. Fuck it. I'll just stay here. Um, to block the guy up, up top. Okay. Or behind me. You're going to sort of smoke him? No, my Jericho. So um, it's the, like, you know, Torbjorn shield kind of thing. Or, sorry. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. The deployable yeah. shield? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Um, so it'll block me from the guy behind me, and I'll finish this guy off in front of me. Okay. Okay. Um, and I will fire my weapon. However, so I we're gonna think... say it's just like that, like a, like a shield, just like gets deployed. Yep. Okay. Yep. Yep. Um, and then I will fire a different weapon, um, the regular uh, thermal rifle that I have. Wow. Okay. 17 is a hit, and you're firing this guy a uh, close range. You are engaged, and you're using a range weapon, so you're going to have a mm -hmm. difficulty. Um, okay. It's still going to hit, but uh, give me a okay. give me a one difficulty. Okay. Um, 
Give me one second here. I think I have something to stop that. Oh, oh, okay. Cool. Okay, never mind. I will use that in a second. Okay, difficulty six. Ooh. Okay, so that's an 11 on your attack roll then, basically. Mm -hmm. Still a hit. Uh, and five damage. How do you destroy the cataphract? Ah, uh, yes. Well, I mean, I just, I guess since I'm at close range and I have a, like, rifle, I'm just going to put the rifle up on his head and, and fire. And it just explodes and it falls down and falls apart. So you can see, like, as you attack this thing, um, this sort of shield lights up around it, like this energy shield. And, um... As you sort of hit it, uh, you can see part of the blast gets kind of, like, deflected a little bit. Um, mm. Rounded down. I did read the rules. It is actually rounded up. I don't know if you want to okay. switch that. Okay. We'll, 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 I'll, I'll be nice. Because it would actually still be alive if, if we rounded, uh, if we rounded down. Um, so <laughs> you did manage to kill it, um, okay. and, uh, it just kind of explodes, like, right in front of you, raining debris down all over your mech. <laughs> Blast right in front of you. Falls okay. to pieces, and, uh, yeah, it is, it is on the ground there. Okay. And then there's one other thing. Uh, if you didn't move during your turn, at the end of your turn, you may make a lock-on attack as a free action. Awesome. Very cool. Okay. Can I do something crazy? Can I lock onto our convoy? Sure. Okay. I want to do that then. So what that does is lets us, the entire party, can know the HP, armor, speed, and all that kind of stuff for the convoy. Okay. So we, we know how nice. much trouble we're in. Okay, sure. We'll, we'll, okay. Un we'll unhide the bars. Yeah. We'll unhide the, the, the heat uh, and the Hang on, the guys. HP. I'm locking on to the convoy. Okay. So uh, the convoy speed is a three. It is a three. Very nice. So while you're locked on to the convoy, you can see the, the HP there. Okay. Okay. Is that it for your, uh, for your go there, guys? I'm pretty sure I lost the ability to do the free move. Yeah, you lost your initiative. Because I had to react, right? Okay. Yeah, yeah. you lost your initiative. Yep. Uh, okay. Awesome. And let's see. Um, oh, no, not a cataphract. Well, I'll get you now. I've got one more. It's under the water. Oh, the no. kind of frack is going to move around the shield. It's really fast. It's got eight speed. Just an FYI. Uh, it's going to line up for a ram cannon shot on you, Geist. Okay. Cannon that shoots rams. 16 plus one accuracy. 18 is a hit. Okay. Oh, is this? Which one is this? This is the cataphract attacking you with a ram cannon. And it moved, right? Yep. So does this mean I can react and attack it? Is that so how that let works? Let me just see. Uh, I think you have to move out of threat range. Like in D&D, &D, but let me just double check here. Sorry, guys. There's, there's going to be yeah. some slowness with the combat as we get acclimated to everything. Um, I appreciate that. It just says attack a close by target attempting to move. So anybody that has any information, yeah, that go would be for very it. Helpful. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Is there nothing further? Okay. It's All just right, attack sure. a close by target attempting move. So yeah, go for okay. it. Okay. Does anyone uh, care, or do you like learning as well? Because like even learning. if you're watching, you have to learn kind of what's going on, right? To yeah. Follow the show along. Okay. Okay. Um, then yeah. We all I like will. learning. Sorry, I'm gonna shut the fuck up. Wow, a 21, that is a crit. Uh, go ahead and uh, give me a 1d3 again. Okay. Because you do double damage. And this is armor piercing, so if it had armor, it would be going through it. Does not okay. have armor, though. Three. Okie doke, so that's going to be a total of six damage. 
Very nice. Uh, however, you see that same shield yeah. uh, sort of sort of like shoot up around this thing, and um, it's uh, it just lit up by the shield as it gets into position to hit you with the ram cannon, um, and you are going to get hit for uh, its automatic damage. It doesn't have to roll five damage from the ram cannon as it uh, pushes forward and gets into melee range with you. Um, okay. And it will then try to invade. Okay. Um, I'm out of HP now. Ooh. Yeah. Okay. So when you hit zero HP, uh, you take structure damage. So okay. you're going to take uh, one structure damage, and you have to go ahead and roll your uh, structure die. Let me just see here. I thought we noticed that we could do it from the sheet before. I can't remember. Uh, is it not this little button here? Oh. No, that like just, just... No. Uh, oh, okay. No, just roll a 1d6. One is bad. Okay. One okay. is bad. Was it just an accuracy we were rolling before? Yeah, yeah I think so. Yeah, we were. Doesn't matter. Cool. Two. Two. Uh-oh. <laughs> Let's see what happens. <laughs> oh, God. Okay, damage, 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 damage. Net combat. They just changed all the bookmarks so, so uh, in this latest version, so I'm like frantically trying to find where everything is now. Damage, okay. Structure, structure, structure. All right, let's check my cheat sheet. Maybe that's quicker. Damage tables. Okay, structure damage. On a two to a four, uh, one to three, the enemy chooses a non-expended system or mount to be destroyed. I am going to choose your, uh, your heavy mount gets destroyed. No more cyclone pulse rifle okay. for you. Okay. Boom. That is disabled. waiting my whole life to use that. <laughs> gotcha! And it's going to end its turn next to you, so you also take two heat damage. Okay. Uh, oh, by the way, your HP goes back up to full. Okay. Uh, however, now your heat damage puts you at zero heat. Yeah, okay. So that will also make you do another... You have to do a heat damage roll now. Okay. Can so I just roll this accuracy thing or no? Yeah, that'll work. Okay. Four. A four. Okay. Let's see. On a four, you get the jammed condition until the end of your next turn. Okay, so you see your mech start to, like, heat up. All of your warning lights are going off um, as you basically are just getting all kinds of uh all kinds of notifications that your that your heat is going off uh mark mark one uh heat damage on your okay. uh at the top there uh at the in the structure damage yes which should okay. also be at one by the way that does not go away okay one reactor stress reactor stress yeah okay. reactor stress okay okay and, uh, yeah. And then you put your heat back up to six. Okay. And you have the jammed condition now. So check that under okay. the uh, status conditions because okay. it's not good. Status conditions. Or where? Oh, I see them. Got it. Thanks. Okay. And uh, who's going next? I win. Okay, Luca. So, uh, Luca, is there? Okay. Um... I guess where is the convoy now? He's asking you guys. The convoy is uh, right next to me. Uh, I have no idea where yeah. you are, though. I'm under the bridge. I told you that. Oh yeah, yeah you're under. I don't know where you are exactly under the bridge. All I know is that you're under the bridge, but it's like the convoy's a... on the bridge. What? On the bridge. All right, still on the bridge. All right, all right. All right. But we're on the bridge. I don't. I can't be underneath uh -huh. the bridge. <laughs> so, I'm going to, uh, can, what can I actually do here? I can... I'll move boost away. All the way to where, as far as I You're can You're going get next? No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, Luke is gonna 
just scoot over here, splash uh, up, and then splash, uh, I guess, just clearing the clearing of Pick me up some fish. I want some fish and chips later, yeah? Oh, that's where you are. <laughs> and I'm gonna actually going to uh, use my jump jets again to just land here. Uh, and then I want to... It's a hovering skiff? Yeah, it's a, it's a hover convoy. Yep. Sweet. Could I charge the skiff to push it faster? Would you like to do that? I would you like can. to do that. Absolutely. Sweet. Uh, so, uh, Luca, just, I guess you guys just hear him just kind of, like, uh, he interrupts himself from the comms, and then you just hear a huge crush uh, landing of stone and metal as he lands behind you. Have you know, used all of your movement? Uh, I did. I just moved now. Okay, so so you moved. You were under the bridge, so you have to yep. get out from under the bridge, fly up and and land on it. So um, it would be probably two moves for me to get to here. Yeah, it would be, it would most be a shorter likely. Move to move that one, and then a, and then you're gonna have to get stuff. out. You're you land in the water, so you have to get out of the water, fly up and over. Yeah, I'd say it's both it's both a move and a boost to get there. Okay, uh, could I? Is there a way I can overcharge? That'll give you, you another quick action. But I can't do the same action again, right? Correct. Hmm. Could I ram it with that? Uh, you should be able to. Let me check. Attempt to knock down or knock back your target. So if I'm pushing, if I'm ramming it yeah. with my quick action, so... Will you I, do damage, though? Uh, it just says knock back, or it doesn't say anything about it, like an attack. Okay. It doesn't, yeah, it doesn't do damage. Cool, that's fucking yep. awesome. Yeah, so, absolutely, um, you can definitely ram it. Move, Luca. So I'm actually going to take a heat damage for overcharging. Yep. Uh, and then, uh, I guess I will ram the, the hovering skiff and hope it moves faster. Okay, yeah, absolutely. Uh, let me just see how far the ram action, uh, takes it. Ram one space directly away from you. Okay. One space you didn't have before. Yep. Yeah, I uh, I scoot it. I guess uh, I scoot it one, or I guess on its turn it moves four. I don't know what to do. Okay. So you push the uh, you push the convoy forward one space. There you go. Oh God! What what's going on? Yeah, Rash Man, you just see the. You see the convoy like moving overhead. It's only like a few feet up, maybe like three feet above you, something like that. Do we just get attacked from behind? Well, what's going on? Uh, it's me. Uh, uh, we gotta get this fast on. It's not fast enough. Oh my God! You gotta warn somebody when you do that. I'm getting hungry. Let's get this whole away head me out. Okay. Uh, next, the enemy is gonna go. Uh, so let's see. Red Panda went. Okay, and the drone engineer is going to move, and it's going to deploy some more turrets. Let's see. One, two, three. Take out that engineer. Whoops. Sorry. I was thinking of going fishing instead. It's going to move here, and it's going to get uh, two more. Let's put this. Um... Yeah, the the mech is still there. The Goliath mech is the Goliath mech. Bleh. Goliath mech is still Man. there. It counts as scrap, so it is sort of blocking the bridge. By the way, it's still there. It's like a slag heap. Um, okay. And let's see, we're cool. gonna get the turret. Luke is gonna push the yeah. convoy straight uh, into the hole. <laughs> not to worry about it. Okay, so it's going to deploy two more turrets, and uh, we're going to get some a bunch of turrets to fire now. That's so bad. That's uh, so bad. Yeah, uh, unfortunately for Boomslang, because uh, oh, he is man, in range of all of them. Man. There are four turrets that are going to be able to try and hit you this turn. Uh, and I think they just get to make D20 rolls. I don't think they get any pluses to their bullshit here. Uh, da -da -da. Okay. Plus one. Okay, D20 plus one. Okay. One, two, three, four. Three hits on Boomsling. Hey, 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 hey. Ah, 
Look out! <laughs> and you are going to take... Uh, let's see how much damage that is. Four... Ooh, 12 kinetic no! damage. It's over. Boom swing! So no! <laughs> Failed. We'll get him next time. 12... Uh, you take 12, uh, 12 damage there, Brimstein. 12 kinetic damage. Oh, is that it? Yeah, 12. <laughs> I would like to, is it the end? Can I go? I'm going now. It's, yeah, the drone engineer is gone. Yeah. Yeah, I'm turn. out. Right, I'm going. I'm launching myself. Uh, movement plus boost to here. I can fly. No, no, don't do it. Are you doing it for real? Dude. <laughs> I launch into the sky. I pull out my giant mecha buster sword. <laughs> <gasps> <laughs> and... I would like to land and attack the uh, little fucking shit. Okay. Try it. See if you can hit it. Try it, Wyatt. All right, I get plus one accuracy because I am a duelist. <laughs> Fuck! End the song. Oh, <laughs> uh, uh, eight. Why? Because I rolled a two. <laughs> <laughs> Wow. So you Brad, see the Brad, sun. Could you just not be Brad for one day. <laughs> the sun, the sun's like all glowing behind uh Boomslang like he launches up into the air. It looks so fucking epic for you guys. You see him like <laughs> You see him and then like as he's coming down the sun gets in his eyes like on the cameras and it's like his filter doesn't go off and he's ah! and he just you just <laughs> <laughs> and uh he just lands and just completely fucking whiffs uh, <laughs> now were you doing the skirmish or the um the barrage which one were you doing i have no idea what you're saying to me uh, which oh, which action do skirmish because uh i already it took you boost. a boost yeah you still have your core power what the hell is that? That's on your frame page. It's the core, the active core thing. That's a once a day move that you have. You can then basically get another attack for free or two more quick actions for can free. I, uh, can I attack with my... Uh, your other weapons. I can't attack with the same weapon twice? No. No? Nope. Hmm. <sighs> Um, well, I might as well. No, I don't know if it's worth it. I don't know if it's worth it. Uh, well, which weapons do you have? You have yourself the, uh, Vijaya rockets? Yeah. Did you have any other weapons? I've got a shotgun, but it's crap. And the heavy blade, which I just used. Um, hang on. Shotgun's not crap. Shotgun is crap. <laughs> it's a load of crap. <laughs> mm. Yeah. I would like to just know. I will end my turn. Okie doke. That's it for Boom Slang, unfortunately. You guys get like all happy and hyped up like he's doing it, he's doing it! And then he just, the sword comes down and he just completely whiffs. <laughs> what a shot! You should try hitting something next time. All right, looks like it's up to me to take down that engineer. 40 more yeah. turns down. So, oh, uh, man. yeah, the striker mech, uh, it went this round, right? Or no? I can't remember. I don't think so. Yes. Did it? No, I don't know. 
I don't think that it did. I think that was... Go for it. Uh... Did you kill that, that mech on this this turn, this round, PB? Or last round? I don't know. I'm sorry. Okay. I'm rolling for it. Nope. It went already. Okay. Okay. It's your guys' turn. It's only your guys' turn until the end of the round now. So Rashman and the convoy still have to go. All right. I... What, what should I do here? Guys? We should have the, sorry, have the convoy move first. You think I should just stick with the convoy, help with the engineer, to help? Do you need help, guys? Do you do it all right? You better make a choice. I mean, I mean, uh, uh, I could use some assistance. Can you repair the convoy? What's happening? What's Talk happening to you? I have never right. repaired anything. Hmm. All right. Well, Flanagan has absolutely no idea who to help. Uh. Hmm. I think I might actually roll for it, whether or not I'm going to help Boomslang or help Geist. It's the best decision I have. Get like a space quarter out of my pocket and flip for it. Space Prepare the convoy! <laughs> Don't help me! Alright, helping you! <laughs> if we need to help, what happened? <laughs> Alright. What a move... Wow, that's some teamwork. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> I feel like Red Panda is just so focused on the convoy. There's like explosions going on behind him. All right, I'm gonna use my uh, I'm gonna use my assault rifle to take down that drone. Uh, okay, the the cataphract. Yeah. Okay. Give it a try. All right. Let's see. What's the range on your assault rifle? It's 10. Okay. You're more than good. Awesome. Uh, uh, 15 uh, is a hit. Yes. Uh, so that's three damage. Um, you see this thing's like shields uh, kind of light up for a second. And uh, you say, Better luck next time. Is that thing still up? God dang it. They get uh, resistance, basically. Uh, actually, no, my bad. Never mind. Retcon. Never mind. No shield. You're good. Three damage. Oh, awesome. Um, I messed that one up. Since I just... Uh, do, don't, uh, do I have a uh, second attack because it's... If you're taking the barrage action, then you get two. It would, it would be a different weapon. Oh, okay. Oh, crap. I only have the assault rifle and the cyclone pulse rifle. So the cyclone pulse rifle, does it, that take an action to takes, recharge it takes an, It takes a full action to re oh. to reload it. Okay. And I just attacked already. Um, well. You could use a tech action. Oh, yeah, I could. Let's tech see. actions are really good. I actually have... Jericho didn't really do anything... I'm gonna. You can do the bolster, you. scan, lock on, invade tech action, tech attacks. Uh, I'm gonna try to invade and see if. Okay. Try and invade. Go ahead and uh, this is this is your. I believe it's a systems. Let me check. Uh, do, 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 do. Let's see. Quick tech. Uh, Oh my god, you feed false information, obscene messages, or <laughs> fandom signals to your target's core computer. <laughs> yeah. I oh, typed it in my Twitch chat. <laughs> is, it just, is it just gonna be like, oh god. Quotes from his book. Yeah, quotes from his book are just like, you know, nudie images of him that he just spams all over right. the screen. There, you have a tech attack uh, thing on your frame list or on your page, right? Uh, yep. Yep. Yes, yeah, I go know. ahead and roll that. Tech attack. 11. Yeah. I believe that is a success. Yep. Woo! So this thing's yes. going to take three heat damage. Three heat damage. Heat damage is broken, guys. Heat damage is broken. <laughs> heat damage is really good. Uh, okay. So, yeah. What what do you do to this to this mech, uh, Flanagan? What do you send this thing with your, with your, <laughs> with your uh, invade? I'd like to upload millions upon millions of my headshots. Yeah. <laughs> hey, what's going on with its systems? Is 
that your face? <laughs> I'm right, it is. <laughs> Take a good look. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, she's, uh, Polly just says, Oh, wow, that's a lot of heat. I don't think the processors can handle that much spandex. <laughs> the heat. <laughs> Uh, okay. Is that it for your turn, Rash Man? Uh, that'll be it for me. Okay, the convoy is going to move. Two, three, and then another three. One. How much farther two, it is now? That's great. Three. Okay, it moves there. And uh, I think we're going to call the show there for today. Because um, we've already gone over. And uh, we were taking a long time. We're getting acclimated to the combat, guys. Yeah. It takes us a while to sort of remember all this stuff. <laughs> Good thing it was a simulation. <laughs> yeah. Um, and uh, we're going to call it for today. We'll have to continue on with more of uh, with more of this on the next episode of Zero Blue Orion. But, yeah, we're going to end it there. Carla's going to show up and just... just <laughs> right. She's going to destroy everything. I was, was under the bridge all along. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, we're gonna oh, we're gonna continue really on with the next uh, with the next episode. So we're gonna end things there. Um, if you guys have not done so, please make sure you follow all these wonderful people. Make it happen. Give them a follow. Um, head on over and uh, hit that follow button. And if you haven't done so, make sure you follow this channel. Follow Table Story on Twitch um, and turn on notifications so you know when we go live with all the different shows that we do. Um, Take a look, good look because at the bottom of our page we have our Tiltify link for St. Jude. And I thought we passed our first goal of zigzags. Looks like we did. Oh, shit. We had a bunch of donations. But we uh, we went up by like a whole oh, shitload. You. Holy. Thank you, guys. Was that like a, thank you, thank you. Nice. Did we get Holy like. Holy poop. Yeah, that was a lot. Was that like 1400 bucks? Yeah. That's amazing. Thank you. Wow, we went today? up a ton. Yeah, today, I think. Yeah. Today. Holy cow. Holy Yeah. You guys I'm, are awesome. Guys, you did amazing. Uh, thank you so much. Thank you, guys. Uh, oh, no, me, that means... So let's do, let's do some... Thing. Let's do some shout-outs. Um, let's go around the room. Let's do some shout-outs. I want to get... I want to actually load up the Tiltify information so I can properly shout you guys out for, for donating. Thank you so much. Um, so let's uh, let's go around the room. Uh, PB, would you be so kind as to start us off, please? Yes, sure. I am Pumpkinberry. Hello. Uh, I am here also again tomorrow uh, for Darkfire, which Brad GMs and Wack is also in, which is exciting. And on Wednesdays, I'm here... Oh, what? What? Which is exciting, you said in your soulless Brad impression voice. Oh, okay. Which also, I also Brad and Wacker then. Who cares about Brad or Wack? No one gives a shit about Brad or Wack. I'm TV. You can follow me at Twitch.tv forward slash Karen. <laughs> Tablestory.tv forward slash Karen. Oh my god. Whatever, as long as it's got Karen in it. <laughs> and yeah, that's it. That's me. Karen. <laughs> Thank you so much, PB. Uh, Brad, what's our... What's oh, our my God. What? What's our uh, command for uh, for the table for story? For Brad? Aaron? For me? Uh, no, no. For for slash twat or something, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> no, that's not the one I'm talking about. I'm talking about our St. Jude uh, oh. quick link or whatever it was. It's a just a tiltify link. Somebody paste that in the chat. For some reason, my chat just decided Saint to die. Isn't it? Yep, there it yeah. is. My, um, my Chad died. Good. All right. Well, Karen already said you can come here tomorrow and watch some D and D. Uh, they're in the end game now. They're doing some like just hardcore. It's just a slew of boss battles, pretty much as they get attacked by things. There is a ginormous orc that stands in their way tomorrow. They're all naked. Oh wait, are you, are you still naked? I, I think am, they yeah, might be naked sure. and fighting more. 100%, orcs. I'm right, naked so. and on fire. And I, I wear lie. short shorts, thank you very much. <laughs> oh yeah, you wore short shorts. It's a, uh, yeah, it sounds like a, a comedy campaign. But so we'll not. see tomorrow. <laughs> um, for D&D, &D. there's also D&D &D on um, Thursday, which is Ragtags, and since I want to tentatively say there's a zigzags next Thursday. Maybe this is when the thing happens. Maybe I won't make any announcements on the fly. Um, but yeah. with the first um, with the first milestone hit on the St. Jude's thing, it means that we're running 
a big D&D &D game in a completely randomized world. We actually created the world entirely randomly on stream. And, this, and the name of this giant D&D &D game is Waterworld 2 Return to America, I think. <laughs> and you, it already has one character in it. Peachy is playing Kevin Costner. Um, that's all. That's all I know about it. Uh, that's all I know about it. It will have a minimum that's of all, eight cast members, uh, um, and it's just it a completely a random thing. And uh, so that was our goal for the uh, for the milestone. And the next milestone is that we, at gunpoint, force Katie Peters' plays to GM for the first time ever uh, <laughs> for us on uh, on Table Story. So if you hit that next one, then we get the next one. But we. Uh, we hit the zigzags once, so a big game of zigzags at some point. We'll have to work it out. It's always a logistics nightmare. Um, but we'll do that. We'll set that up. That's going to be run by Karen. It's probably not. I assume it's actually run by me, by the way. But we're going to say it's run by PB. It's going to be run by you using the Karen voice the entire time. Fine. Yeah. I will be That's dressed as an elk. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, whatever. You can go and follow Fist of the Walrus as well. Hi. Fist? I'm Fist of the Walrus. Uh, I do GTRP, Atlas RP at the moment. Uh, yeah, always a pleasure to be on the show. That's really pretty much it. I ain't got nothing else interesting going on in my life. I'm sure that's not true. <laughs> but uh, make sure you guys go follow Fist. He's hilarious. Um, so what's funny. what's the what's the latest game on your on your plate right now, Fist? Just Atlas finished. still, right? Atlas, yeah. Atlas I'm still doing Atlas. Awesome. And popping on GT every once in a while. Awesome. Okay, go check it out, guys. He's absolutely hilarious, and as uh, you can tell, his voice is schmexual. Um, <laughs> go check it out. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's the GoXLR. His real voice is extremely high. Hey guys! When I turn it off, it's it's more like this, I guess. <laughs> yeah. Oh god! Oh god! It's the other way around. <laughs> I'm still learning how to use this thing. There, there it is. This is how I really sound. There we go. <laughs> I'll send you oh the Karen god. preset <laughs> later on, so we can all just do Karen voice at the end of every yes. episode. <laughs> Oh my god, it's me, Fist of the Walrus. <laughs> I love roleplay. <gasps> Mythomatic, can you go next, please? Oh my god, I love Mythomatic. <laughs> hey, I'm Mythomatic. You can find me on my channel. It's twitch.tv slash Mythomatic. Uh, I do a lot of roleplaying here. Uh, recently, I've been doing a lot of stuff. That is Warcraft uh, the beta. So that's been uh, like a lot of fun. So you can just check me out like during the day or not. It's up to you, whatever. But you can also check me out on Twitter where I like tweet a lot about stuff. <laughs> Thanks. It's been a blast. Thank you oh so much. It's it's such a pleasure having you here. Thank you. Oh my it's god. It's a pleasure being here. I, I just love just love it. Uh, <laughs> Make sure you follow everybody here, everybody, please. Oh, my God. Thank you so much. Also, this is my last episode. It's been fun. Thank you, everybody. Thank you for watching. Oh, my God. Oh, no, that's a lie, up. okay? It's There's no way you can part from the next. it all back to you, Karen, okay? You have, Karen, you have I was actually... trying to speak, and Karen kept interrupting, and this is bullshit. I would never do that, Karen. You know that, right? Okay, Karen, I'm sorry. You keep going, darling, okay? You were doing really Thank well. Thank you. Thank oh, you. my God, Karen, okay. we get it. Thank you. Uh, I'm Wax Steven. I've been your GM week. of Doom. Okay, I've dragged the players kicking and screaming through the adventure today. Thank you guys so much for watching. As always, chat, we appreciate you. We love you. Thanks for hanging out with us. Thank you to Brad. Thank you, Fist. Thank you, Myth. Thank you, PB, for being awesome role players. I appreciate you. And thank you guys so much for the wonderful St. Jude donations. I can't see who did what. There's no timestamps on these. Um, but we got. There we, shall be characters named after them in Zig. We, we got. Yes. We got. We got so idea. many. We yeah. got so many donations going on uh, from from a lot of wonderful people. Um, so thank you guys so much because that was a big jump today. I don't think it's updated. Like this looks like the same list from that I saw right. before. If it's like thousands of people, there shall be small rocks that you will. <laughs> <pass. laughs> I'll take my blade after you. Um, but thank you. If there's a couple you. of giant donors, then they will be the kings and queens of the world.
well. Thank you guys so much uh, for for donating to St. Jude's to um, help the to help them uh, research ways to save children. Thank you so much, um, and hopefully we'll see you guys tomorrow for some dark fire. Uh, otherwise, good night. Peace out. Have a wonderful rest of your Monday, everybody. Good night. Bye. 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 <laughs> oh my God. Bye. Oh my God.